one. Shalom. Well, first and foremost, like always, we'll start off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahavushai, Ba'ashem Rekakadash. We the Hebrew Israelites become weak and weak out. That's what the Lord did, man. You know, uh, man out of your own nation, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You know, the Lord has risen up prophets from among you, man, to tell you what, what you're doing wrong and ultimately the judgment for your evil doings, man. All right, because great judgment is being prepared, like we've been saying, man. Uh, get Revelation 12 and 12 real quick, bro. All right, because you have to understand that your enemy, man, he's waging war while you're bullshitting and partying, man. God. While you're taking this word as something for granted, man, Esau's making moves. All right, he, he's a he's, uh, uh, fucking with the food system. All right, can one of your brothers give me Ecclesiastes 29 and 21, bro? All right, because there's things that are prepared for men as a whole, you know, to, to procreate, man, to live. And these are the same things that Esau's attacking at this uh, very time, man. All right, because he's coming down as a great lion, having great wrath, man. All right, and we're basically seeing his infrastructure, everything that he's going to create to come to bring that to pass, man, to bring a time of desperation, all right, chaos, man. That's what's coming to the earth. So at the flip of it, he could bring what? The solution, man. All right. See. And what's that solution? The MOTB, man. All right, which right now is being orchestrated. The whole system, the whole infrastructure is being prepared, man. But you people are ignorant to it. That's right. But, you know, the Lord's going to have his prophets out here to tell you, man, before things spring up. Get that, uh, brother, uh, before things spring up. All right, go ahead, bro. Uh, get that, bro. Revelations. God. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 12. In uh, verse 12, it says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. So the whole earth, bro, is going to be in the, in the spirit of chaos, man, before uh, the great coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Well, primarily here in America, man, this is the Lord's uh, 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 battle zone, so to speak. Because this is where he's bringing, the, uh, bringing uh, great war. You know, he's bringing his missiles. He's bringing all his militaries here, bro. He got the, the missiles. He got the chariots. Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. All right, this is where this is being prepared, man. And that's why the people of this place is, is in the spirit that they're in, man. All right, just like uh, the Lord has... Uh, he grabbed them, bro. The Lord has left us uh, Sodom and Gomorrah as an example of how the uh, godly should not live. You see, there's examples in the Bible, man, that, that uh, have uh, let us know what the Lord does against any wicked society, man, any wicked nation. All right, and basically the whole earth right now, man, is it, caught up in that. Uh, they're drunk off the wine. Get that, bro, in Isaiah. Yeah, I'm holding it. I'm holding it, bro. bro. Go ahead, get it. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to start Isaiah 24. Um, I, I'll start at Isaiah 24 and, uh, and, and 8. It says, The mirth of Tabernacles ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth, the joy of the heart ceaseth. Cease that's what's happening right now, bro. You know, you got uh, derailments that's potentially contaminating your food, bro. Because out there in Ohio, that's a, 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 a 
chief state that produces a lot of the food that we eat on a day-to-day -day basis, man. So you're telling me that this, this, this land is being poisoned, man, so what's gonna come off the land? You know, the, the, the whole food is gonna be contaminated, man. That's and that's it. the same food they're gonna give you, man. Come. And that's what Ezekiel prophesied, that the whole bread of stab was gonna be broken, man. Right. And that's what these devils are getting ready to do, man. They're ready to bring a, a, a chaotic time to the planet Earth, man. Yeah. And of course, it's being orchestrated by the Heavenly Father. Uh, get Isaiah 45 real quick, bro. Because the Lord is the one that's bringing darkness and evil, man. Well, he's using Esau as his sword. Get that in Psalm 17 real quick, bro. Come. Uh, finishing off Isaiah 24 and 9 it says they shall not drink wine with a song strong beak strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it and those are all the philosophies bro that these people are consuming that in these latter days is going to be detrimental to their salvation man uh -huh. hey getting married dating you know doing the bullshit that these people are doing out here man ain't doing shit for you to get out of here man right if anything is holding you back because those are the curves of the world man yeah. thorns briars you see and they're gonna sting you, man. They're gonna poke you, all right? You're gonna be destroyed, man. All right, Matthew 24 goes into that. They should surprise him as the day of Noah, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, so what does that let you know? That Noah was out there prophesying just like we're prophesying and the people didn't take heed to it, man. So when that flood did come, what happened? They drowned, bro. All right, so it's not gonna be no different this time. Only this time it's with fire, bro. That's right. All right, that's the second death that's talked about in Revelation, man. Ahead, it says verse 10 the city of confusion is broken down every house is shut up that no man may come in and what is the city of confusion babylon bro you got motherfuckers walking right now that were born female telling you that they're men and vice versa yeah. that's fucking confusion bro the lord created two sexes in the book of genesis it tells you he created man and woman yeah. and he didn't create all these other different uh uh, uh, uh classifications I would call it that, you know, the alphabet people, man. Glory create that bullshit. That's confusion, bro. And that's just a small example of why this land is the city of confusion, man. That's okay. it. It says, verse 11, there is a crying for wine in the streets. And that's what all these people are on, bro. They, they love the wine. They love the bullshit. You know, they, 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 all they want to know is when's the next thing, when's the next party. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When, when's the next club, okay? Which, what does that do to you, man? We were all in that world, bro. I can tell you right now, I actually leave nothing but, but hangovers, you know, uh, 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 yeah. memories of bad times, man. Right. I shouldn't leave nothing, nothing that's going to be beneficial for me to get the fuck out of here. That's you know it. what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It says, all joy is darkened, the mirth of the land is gone. And that's what's going to come, man, through all these different events that are <laughs> coming to the earth, man. Can you, one of your brothers leave me a scripture, uh, terror shall be passed around the mountain to enjoy the Okay, but shot, because that's what's coming, man. Terrors. Okay, the scriptures say when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman, man. All right, and not only are the men gonna get hit with this, you women. You know, Isaiah prophesied against them, you know, you careless women, you careless daughters, man. Okay, because these women are in this society all pulled to a different degree, man. They could do whatever the hell they want and, and not pay any type of repercussions. Yeah. You see, so that the Lord's gonna put an end to all that too, man. All right. That's all. Go ahead, brother. 17 and 13. Yeah. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword, from men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their pain. That's the, that's the whole MO of America, man. You know, that's the history of our people, man. Hey, the brother Yashabam, the elder Yashabama made a point the other day, or yesterday, he basically said, man, that in, uh, as a nation, our people, man, we only experienced 40 years of peace. You know, as a whole nation, man, in the whole uh, history of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are the Israelites, we've only enjoyed 40 years of peace, and that was under Solomon, man. Every other uh, history, we've been in slavery, we've been oppressed, we've gone to hell and back, man. Okay, well, we're prophesying that there's coming a peace, a real peace, man. What does that say? They're away the peace for the, the, the children of the Heavenly Father, man. All right, that was it, right, bro? Yeah. And what did I have you holding? Uh, you had me holding uh, real quick. Like Isaiah 45? Yeah, get that real quick. You want 45 and uh, 7, I think it is? Actually, in dark. Oh, yeah, okay. that's like it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter okay. 45 and... Uh, Verse five, verse seven, so I, I form the light, I create darkness. So we just read, hey, Esau's the sword of the Lord, so the Lord created him to be this person, man. The Lord has reserved everything, even the wicked for the day of judgment, right? So the Lord has him, you know, he, he has uh, propped up Esau to a degree.
degree where this motherfucker thinks that he could do everything, man. This motherfucker thinks that he could take out the Heavenly Father, bro. That's why the book of Obadiah tells you that the heart of thy, the, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee, man. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks. You know, being up in the high, uh, high position, man, got, you, got your mind twisted into believing that you could outdo, that you could take down your creator, man. Okay? But, you know, like, like we always say, you got the prophets to set the record straight. And we're setting it straight. We're telling you that the Heavenly Father, He's going to send His Son, Yahweh Shai, to come take you down, man. That's what the scriptures say, that in His head was many crowns, right? Go ahead, bro. Okay. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. So right now, the Lord's creating evil, bro. You know, through all these different scenarios that are unfolding on the earth. You know, the, like we keep saying, the derailments, man. Hey, that's just like unleashing uh, toxins to the ground, bro. They said 44,000 animals have died since then, man. Probably more now. All right? So what is that going to do to the ecosystem out there, man? It's going to destroy it. All right? Because Esau has plans for everybody to live in these cities, man. So what he, uh, according to his agenda, uh, agenda 21, I think that's what it's called, he's going to create a, a scenario on all these rural lands where he's not going to allow people to live out there, man. And he's going to con uh, consolidate power into these major cities, man. Okay? These so-called smart cities. Where access is going to require you to have a MOTB. You see, we're seeing all the pieces of the Heavenly Father coming together, man. You know, they show you that in that movie, uh, In Time with Justin Timberlake, right? Yeah. Where before, uh, for him to go into different uh, zones, in every zone, uh, uh, you know, the more expensive it was, the better the conditions were. All right. Basically, you had to pay with time, man. Well, so that's no different from what Issa's trying to set up here, man. He's going to try to uh, put us so far. Right here we battle the elements, bro. You right. Know this is this is the war, you know, that we're waging out here. Like in season, out of season. In, in season, out of season, man. All right. But uh, keep going with that, bro. Yeah, fine. Um, that was good. That was good. Fine. Okay. So jump back to Ezekiel 33, bro. Yeah, I got. I got. Uh, then I get. You got that piece of two, right? Yeah. Read it real quick. Just to get it out. Do you want to get straight to the point? Yeah. Comes to the book of Job, chapter 18 and verse 11. It reads terrors shall make him afraid on every side. And that's what we're seeing, bro. We have that spiritual eye. We're seeing that terrors are being prepared, man. All right, calamities, evil times, bro. Get Ephesians 5 real quick, bro. Uh, redeeming the times because days are evil. All right, because that's the time we're in, brothers. We're in, a, in the dark times. You know, we're about to witness you. How should I come, man? And like Apostle Gopar made that uh, point that I thought was very spiritual. He said right before the morning, which is, you know, how is known as the morning star. Right before the morning, man, it's the darkest period of time, you know, that, that 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, that's the darkest it gets, bro. So what does that let us know? Before Yahweh Shai comes, we're going to experience very, very fucking dark times, bro. That's what the scriptures say, terror shall compass you. Go ahead, bro. Come it says, terrors shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. the elect you know th those are going to be the ones that's going to be brought out of it this is uh amos 5 and 20 straight to the point it says show not the day of the lord yahweh by shimmy how shy be darkness and not light even very dark and no brightness in it that, that goes with what the brother was saying it's going to be the absolute darkest time that was known to man it, there's nothing that can be compared with it and there's never going to be anything like it after you know, and, and, and this time, when you think about the history of the Israelites, my brother roughly, briefly spoke on uh, as he was opening up the lesson. 
man, we went through all kinds of hell already, man. Various captivities. We, we suffer a hardcore captivity here in America under, under Esau Edom, you know? But what's coming is gonna far exceed even that, man. You know, and, and, and nobody has seen a time like this on this planet Earth, and that's what we're warning of, man. Amos 6 and 3, uh, 3 and 6 says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? So why are you people running around here still comfortable, man? Just just lollygagging? You Israelites, man, you acting like you can put the Lord off from day to day, like you got time to, to, to come back and turn back to the Lord on your time. Well, well, well all of you are going to be caught as a thief in the night when the Lord get ready to start bringing this judgment down upon this earth, man, because he's going to pour it out with fierceness, man. You know, with no respect to a person, he's going to pour it out upon the wicked of our people because everybody had an opportunity to get this truth and to have an opportunity to turn back. And you chose the world and you didn't choose the ways of Yahweh Hashim and Hashai, and it's going to be a punishment for that. Because yeah, we have all the... Because there's examples, bro. Hey, Sodom and Gomorrah is a perfect example. That's it. Nineveh, yeah. Assyria, you know what I'm saying? Babylon, <laughs> bro. The, the Persians and the Medes, mm -hmm. all right? Greek, the, yeah. uh, Grecia, the Alexander, and all that, man. They were all examples of us going against our Heavenly Father and the Lord bringing a, a dreadful nation upon us, man. Yeah. Now we're at the last leg of that vision that Daniel saw, man, which is this, this uh, 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 Roman, reincarnated Roman Empire, man, all right? This is what's happening, bro. You know, and th that that uh, vision, it was a grateful and, ter and it was dreadful and terrible, man. Yeah. And this is what America represents. It represents a dread, and it's gonna be terrible for most of our people, man, that don't repent and, and, and seek Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah while he may be found. Yeah. Isaiah 55 and 6, man. Yeah. We're in that time, man. There ain't no time to be laggy guy, man, or fucking around. Right. It's a time to get to work. Yeah. Hey, Yahweh wish I said, truly the, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few, yeah. man. You know, there's a lot of work uh, to be done, man. Okay? Especially right. at the last days. Especially when, we, when the missiles are being prepared, man. Especially when the MOTB and you got all these other false prophets, man, telling you that it's something else that it really isn't, man. That's what we have to stand up and, and proclaim the true words of the Heavenly Father, bro. Yeah. Get that, bro. In Psalms 91, who shall stand up against yeah. the evildoers? That's it. Ain't nobody standing, man. God. Even these men that call themselves being Israelites they ain't doing the right thing, bro. That's what Ezekiel talked about in Ezekiel the 14th chapter, man. That these prophets, man, they're not setting the hedge up for our people, man. They're, they're fucking around, man. They're going to clubs during the Passover. They're doing shit that they're not supposed to do. They're not following the decree that was written, man. They want to wear hats, all right, and talk shit, bro. It ain't the time to do that, man. It's the time to prophesy. It's the time to be in Yahweh Shai spirit, which is the spirit of prophecy, all right? And that's what we come out here to do. We're willing the Lord keep that spirit on us, bro. Got We're it? willing. Yeah. Uh, this is Jude 1 verse 5 it says I will therefore put you in remembrance though you once knew this how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroyed them that believe not hey, and that's what the Lord's doing all over again bro he's taking, our, taking us <coughs> out of the modern day Egypt right and we're putting our people in remembrance man hey uh, Stephen did that bro when, he, when, they, when they stoned them hey, the message was so cutting to them that they, they took rocks and stoned Stephen bro well, they're gonna do the same thing to us because this message, it cuts, bro. What does the, the book of Hebrews say? Is a, a sharp two-edged sword. Right. Piercing asunder to the soul, bro. Well, this is what we have, man. We're, we're wielding the sword, all right? And we're cutting up all these fucking fake doctrines, these strongholds that we're on our people, man. And telling them that, that the Most High loves them and only them. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And at this time, the elect within the elect of that nation, bro. Because Israel as a whole is the elect nation of the Heavenly Father. But right now, the Lord's dealing with the selected few, man. The initiated souls. The ones that were given the mysteries. You see? Not everybody can get this truth, bro. So if you're here and, and the Lord's dealing with you, man, hey, count yourself blessed, bro. All right? Highly blessed. Yeah, how wish I told the, told the disciples, right? Blessed are ye, for ye understand, man. For it is open to you. All right? Go ahead, bro. These are these ever these are the chains of darkness, the bodies that we're in, bro. Because we were in, you know, we we, we we up here, bro, in the Heavenly Father's eyes. 
but we ourselves through our actions through the pollution that after seeking after these gods we, we were brought low bro we were in these chains of darkness which are these bodies bro that get sick you know fucking back aches all the time yeah. you're getting old Ain't nobody want to get old, bro. Right. Ain't nobody want to see fucking wrinkles on your face and shit. Right. You know, like we want, we all want to keep that that pristine, our prime look, so to speak. Right. Just like any boxer, bro. Ain't no boxer want to get past his prime. The prime is the the the, the uh, cherry on the top, so to speak. Right. right? Yeah. And that's the that's that's what we're gonna acquire once the Lord changes us, man, into those new bodies. And you know, we're always gonna be on our prime, man. You know. But with that, you know, we have to go through the hell before we get the price. You know. Or else it wouldn't be worthy as, you know, it wouldn't be as, as good, bro. You know, just like anything in the world, if you fight for it and you grind for it, once you get it, it fucking feels that much better, bro. Right. That's you know? Facts. Is that, is that it, bro? That's cool. It says, uh... They mentioned Sodom before, right? Yeah, it does. It says, uh, chains under darkness unto the judgment of the uh, great day. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah in the cities about them, in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. That's what they're doing here in America, bro. Everybody's giving over to to show that self approved Once you search the scriptures and you start reading all these different stories and the reason why the Lord brought judgment, you could have a better analytical mind of, of what the Lord is, man, and how he thinks, how he carries himself. And that's what you do when you search the scriptures. You learn of Yahweh Shai, man. Because remember, Yahweh Shai, he's in the same spirit that his father is in. John 10 and, and 30, I think, says that me and the father are one, bro. And that doesn't mean that they're one person, one entity, man. It just means that they're in, a, in accordance in, in spirit and in mind. That's it. All right, that's what uh, Paul said. Uh, Let every man's uh, head be Yahweh Shai. The, the, the head of Yahweh Shai is the, is, is the Heavenly Father. And that's the proper order, man, that has been distorted in this society, which yeah. we're putting you in remembrance of. We just read the book of Jude, bro. All right? So we're putting our people in remembrance, man, that they are a, a peculiar people to the Heavenly Father. And if they keep committing sin against them, the Lord's going to bring judgment, man. And these are the things that we're being, that we've been made private to, bro. That the whole world doesn't know. Get your precept, and then we'll go into that. Yeah, come, bro. Because <clears throat> the brother's speaking of pushing out this this word, which is the message that's being pushed. Is that what? <laughs> and the heavenly Father's not going to rewrite the scriptures for this generation. You know mm. what I mean? So we're calling to you. Uh, the heavenly Father says, seek the old ways, and that's what the heavenly Father's going to do, man. You're going to stand on His word because His word is right. Right, every man is a liar, but the Most High. So why would He change His ways? There's no imperfections in Him. It's us. All right. This is a uh, Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Question mark. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? It says, unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Mm. All right. So when He's helped us and given us this word, so we can be His mouthpiece. Without that, we will be in silent, man. Like the rest of the people, silent. The Heavenly Father says we will stand up for him. But we, a lot of people have been in silent for a long time. Now that we have that mouthpiece, man, we have to speak until, until we have no breath in us, you know? Oh, hey, everybody up here, man, says the womb. Get that in Jeremiah, bro. You know, since oh, yeah, the yeah, womb, yeah. hey, we were uh, ordained a prophet to the nations, bro. You see? What we doing up here, man, you know, and brothers always got testimonies of different things they went through prior to the truth, man, that they knew. Once they came into the truth, that they were being guided to something greater and better. You see, that's what this truth represents for us, man. It was that uh, uh, that thing that we found that that brought uh, peace to our soul. You know what I'm saying? Because we were all in the world, bro. We were all walking after darkness, after the, the cares of the flesh. You see, but the Lord, you know, took a, a detour with us, man, and he brought us into this. Many are called, for are chosen. We're in that hope of being the, the chosen. Because we know for a fact we've been called. Because we all here, man. We just don't know if we've been chosen. That's the scary part of it. You know? Uh, it's our uh, first Peter. Uh, it's like, this is Jeremiah. It's like I was grabbing the said. This is Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. I sanctified thee, bro. I set you apart. You know what I'm saying? And the brother, uh, Kassai, me and him were talking up, coming up here, man. He was saying that. Hey, the world just, you don't fit into the world, man. Well, that's the answer, bro, because you were set apart. You know what I'm saying? Because 
the world wants to do what the world wants to do. Yahweh Shai, you know, what the spirit after Yahweh Shai goes basically doing what the Father wants to do, to do bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the, the difference between us and the world, man. That the world's doing what the hell the world wants to do. We're, we're trying to please a higher power, bro. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 9. It says, A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord, but the Lord directed his steps. You know, so the Lord directs your steps, man. You don't have control of like the brother was getting into. Yeah, we, you know, we were in a world as well, but the Lord had us take a detour. Which is coming into this truth. That's how you know we are called. And that's why we're out here teaching and preaching his word. Now we don't know if we're the chosen. We hope to be. You know what I mean? Lord willing, we are the, you know, that a part of that number. But we out here and we're called to to blow the trumpet like we've been talking about, like in Ezekiel 33. And the brother's talking about, you know, that trumpet of war being 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 uh blown onto the city and the city's not taking heed. Instead, what? They're partying, they bullshitting, they giving into marriage like like uh, uh the scripture said that they would be doing. Just like in the time days of Noah, man. Same spirits back today, man. That's what you got going on today. But this is what America pushes. That's why when you go to Psalms 58, it talks about the poison of America. Because it's pushed all throughout the earth. What? The, the, the spirit of America is party and bullshit. See, a lot of people think that it's the land of the free, but it's not the free that you think. It's the land of the free to be as, as evil as you want to be. So if you want to be a mo, you can be a mo. If you want to be a hoe, you can be a hoe, man. If you want to worship the devil, you can worship the devil. If you want to be a pedophile, you can be a pedophile. If you want to, you know, go into bestiality, you can do that. You know what I mean? Here in America, they push that. This is a place where it's lawlessness. That's what they mean by free. You know? God. And, it, and, it's, and, and the Lord is opposite of that, man. You must, when you go into the laws, it's, it's, it's things we have to follow to the best of our ability in the law. You know, but America is, is, is adverse to that. It doesn't, they don't, they don't push that. That's how you know the earth is given into the hands of the wicked because the wicked doesn't reverence the Lord, nor does he have fear for the Lord. Instead of, instead of having the Lord ways established, and he has power, right? The so-called white man has power in America, right? Instead of him pushing the Lord ways as the law, he pushes his own ways, showing you that he's not with the Lord, man. So for you, for, for you to believe that the so-called white man or the, any of these nations, right, are the Lord is dealing with them, you're a fool, man. Right? Because here it is, even in their own power, they have no respect for the Lord. Right? When you go to uh, second entrance, it says they fear, but they durst fight. But the fact that you'll fight against a being that can't die, right? What type of proud man do you have to be? You know, so imagine that pride. Now that pride is being pushed on the people. So that's why these we well, don't see a line out here, right? But what when something happens, people want answers, man. But you're going to wait until something happens. The next thing that happens, man, for you people, it, I mean, you got nuclear war talking about being brought up in the news, man. Okay. The next thing that happened for you people is not going to be a. We might not be out here, man. Because what scripture talk about the family of the word. Then you people are going to want to see. Then you people are going to want to look at the videos. Then you want to reverence the Lord, but it'll be too late. You know, so get it now while you can. Man. That's it. There's a time and season for everything, right? Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, man. Right now is the time to come and get this word, man, and build yourself up so that you put it toward the evil times that are coming. You know, get all the provisions, all the spiritual provisions that you need, man. You know, the breakdowns. You see, because that's what's going to keep you sane in those evil times, man. Ain't, you know, how much money you got in the bank, how many bitches you hit, that ain't going to get it, get you anywhere but closer to death, bro. All right? Straight up, bro. You know? Not saying that, you know, if you get something, you know, it doesn't make you evil, but, you know, once you make your life about that and, and that's the be-all, end-all, everything that you stand for, man, that's the problem right there, and that's what the Heavenly Father hates. You see, once you put something over Him, man, you in problems with Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, man. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and uh, verse 2. It says, All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Hey, motherfuckers in the world think, bro, oh, yeah, I got all these bitches, I got money, I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. I'm good. What are you doing, nigga? I had to throw that shit at you, bro. Yeah. Calm, calm, bro. Hey, that brother right, man. Uh, verse 3. It says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai, and thy thoughts shall be established. Come on, man. Hey, commit commit the works unto the Lord, man. This should be the priority going into these last days. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and, and your thoughts should be established, man. If if if, if you go to uh, James four, it talks about how you know the the world is enmity, you know, with the Most High, man. Now, let me let me get that real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because what what 
you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to do is you got to come out of the ways of this world. You know, you got to come out of the ways of this world and, um, and and turn back into the ways of righteousness. There's only one way out of, of, of this chaotic destruction that the Lord has prepared for this place. And that's through Yahweh Bashim and Shah. It requires faith. It requires that you turn back to righteousness. And if you're spending all of your time, okay, thinking upon things of the world, then that's what your thoughts are going to be established with, things of this world. Your, your thoughts are not going to be established of things of the kingdom to come, things of Yahweh Bashim and Shah, things pertaining to salvation. You see? So this is James 4 and 4. And this is why we don't identify with the world. We don't get along with the world. You know, uh, the, the, the people of the world, they speak evil of us. You know what I'm saying? They got a problem with us because we're not of this world. This is James 4 and 4. It says, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? And, and, and there's a lot of Israelite groups out there that really needs to read this scripture real slow, man, because they give off a, 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 a great appearance of the world but pushing the doctrine of, 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 of being a teacher they, they act as if they're a teacher but they have an appearance of being in the world it says the friendship of the world is enmity with the most high man it says so whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the most high and this is ultimately why we're enemies of the world okay because we are on the side, we're standing with Yahabah Shimi Shai, fighting for this truth and pushing this word, okay? And the world has a problem with that because the world, they're, they're about evil, they're about death, they're about destruction, they're about the ways of Satan, okay? And that's enmity with the Most High, all right? So, so why, why is it a, a whole lot of uh, Israelite groups out there that's, that's uh, trying to act like they're pushing this truth, but they're devoting a hell of a lot of their time doing parties, uh, 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 doing rap videos, you know, and going to uh, Black Power award shows, all kinds of shit, man. Why are they doing that, man? Because the Lord has his true teachers, man, that he set, separated, okay, from the false ones, man. You got a whole lot of, uh, of men that are, are pushing damnable heresies, man. That, 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 are, that are pushing lies They're basically faking the funk They ain't really about this for real man they, 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 They're like taking the pieces That they want of this truth And they're applying that And then they're throwing out the rest man But the true elect of Yahabah Shem Yahashah The true prophets that he set up Okay in spirit and in truth They're going to be 100% about Yahabah Shem Yahashah They're not going to take away from the word They're not going to add to it They're just going to give you the full truth Whether you hear or whether you forbear Ultimately, it comes down to that what fucks with their money, bro. You know, because they, you know, they make merchandise from this house, selling ads and all these other bullshit shirts, with fringes, and whatnot. Think about it. Like any any company in the world, man, they, they have a PR uh, team, right? Mm -hmm. and, and and that PR PR team is in charge of what that company pushes or, or what's associated with that company. Because if if they get a bad light, you know, people stop buying their product, man. Yeah. It's that simple. You see, so that's why they separate themselves from a lot of the controversial things of the scriptures that we, hey, we, we, we all about that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't give a fuck what you people think about us, bro. Mm -hmm. As long as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is pleased with us, we good, bro. Yeah. And we hate all you that, that basically you're hating the Heavenly Father, bro. Because you're ashamed of his complete message, bro. You can't be ashamed of one thing in the scriptures, man. What they use the rape doctrine, they use the, the MOTV. All right, they use different other uh, controversial topics, man, to, to put a to shed a bad light on us. Yeah. Why is it that Great Mills is the most hated group out of all these groups? Because hey, I wish I was in that same category, man. That's he it. was hated among his brethren, bro. Yeah. Get that real quick. You're, you're our enemies. <laughs> yeah? Doesn't the scripture say I, I despise every false way? Yeah. Come on, bro. You got to stick with the program. Mm -hmm. And this is the program. This is what's going to get us out of here, man. Yeah. The doctrine that's being pushed by the men of Great Millstone starting off with our apostles and elders, man. God. All right? 
And if you're not fully persuaded in your own mind, well, I mean, that's that, that's that's a problem that you got to deal with the Heavenly Father, man. That's you know, it. you got to pray to the Lord. The scriptures say, if any of you lack wisdom, pray to the Lord, man. And He will open your eyes up. That's what we do, bro. You know, when I'm going through something, hey, Lord, you know, I don't have a lot of understanding of the situation. You know, give me the understanding. And through a period of time, you get the understanding, bro. Right. And you'll be able to uh, wield the sword a little better. Remember, we're being prepared to be swordsmen. Okay. Uh, that, that whole swordsman is, hey bro, wielding a sword properly is a hard job, bro. I mean, it's heavy, okay? Cut yourself. So that's what the Lord's doing. He's preparing us. He's making us a master of the, of the scriptures, bro. taking heed to the sound of the battle all right the, 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 the trumpet that we're blowing man all right because we're not giving an uncertain sound we're giving a very certain sound man yeah all right get that real quick this morning we'll go into it. This is, uh, the book of first thessalonians the fifth chapter the first verse it. it reads but of the times and the seasons brethren you have no need that i write unto you uh -huh. for yourselves know perfectly and all the brothers in like mind man the brothers know what, what time it is you know that's the saying within the camps yeah you know what time it is brother we in those times, bro. Yeah. You know, all hell breaking loose, man. The, hey, I remember when I first came into a church, these are the times I was looking for, man. And now yeah. they're here. Can't be choking spirit. God. You gotta keep shit wired tight like the uh, other uh, the out there, man. Yeah. Shit gets rough, they wire up more, man. Get tougher. Yeah. You know, come with more heat. Yeah. Study more, read more, man. And that goes for myself. Yeah. All right? Ain't no reason why we should be feeling down in the spirit, man. We're seeing great things happen around us. Yeah. We're seeing the things that all of our forefathers wanted to witness, man. Yeah. All right. First Thessalonians chapter five verse two. Yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. We know that, bro. You know, that's an inside. Like uh, the apostle always says, an inside joke, right? Well, this thing is an inside thing, man. We understand that all these things that are being orchestrated is is is, is, is brewing that that dark time. You know, the, the economic system being uh, uh, destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the man, which brought up the price of uh, petroleum products. All these things are happening because Esau, man, the elites of the society are bringing down this economy, man. So that when this economy goes, they're able to bring in that new system. Okay? That beast system that is talked about in Revelation, the 13th chapter, man. That's what's taking uh, power on the earth right now, man. That's why all these companies, man, are elite with the system. Why do you think most of these companies are pushing the, the potion when the potion was a thing? Where the fuck is the potion now? He saw did his, his uh, statistics, he pulled the numbers, man, and now he knows what he has to do when he does bring the MOTB, man, which is the micro C hit. That's it. Right? And we're going to keep saying that, even though we sound like a broken record because the people need to hear that, bro. And that's part of... Uh, us not being in darkness as all these other people, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Get, get your priest. Oh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 6. Yeah. Which I have sent watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. You see, so the Lord set up those watchmen, man, which, which are all the prophets. Right, starting with the head elder apostles, on down from the elder bishops and Aki, like, uh, like ourselves, and that which is true. Right, constantly watching for what? Watching for prophecies. And that's, that, that, that's really the commandment to man. So say, be occupied in prophecies. gonna make adjustments if you're not afraid hey that's what happened with us right we, we became afraid as soon as you heard that word like oh shit yeah man, i gotta get myself ready yeah. hey destruction hey bros always have to spray hey when you come into the truth that destruction is coming like in six months yeah. you're just making all yeah. these different yeah. moves and shit you know try to get yourself right man because yeah. the lord said his spirit is a quickening spirit man you see but you people aren't being quickened man yeah. you know we're we're up you know was that uh second corinthians 5 uh knowing the terror of the lord we persuade man mm -hmm. 
That's how we were persuaded, bro. We knew, oh shit, the Lord's gonna kill me. If I don't get right, the Lord's gonna uh, make me eat my children and all this other shit. Hell, now let me get myself right. Let me make, let me cut off the flesh and get 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 shit done, right? Kind of like one more too. It says, uh, I have set up, I have set watchmen upon thy walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. You see, so that, that's why, you know, the men of the Lord, right, they're going so hard right now in the spirit, man, because the Lord's about to wrap this thing up. You see, we, right now we're at the grand finale. You see the fireworks, you know what I'm saying, on the 4th of July, how they just come. You know, it's like phases, but that grand finale, said they go, they go fast, man. That's why the Lord's putting the spirit on his men to ultimately do more work. Right, because the work's about to be over. Right, one more. It's just like when you get crushed, right? Like championship rounds, that's when you put your you can make those kids count. You know what I'm saying? The championship rounds and shit. Yeah. That's what we're in right now, brothers. We're in the championship rounds. You know, we all weather, we all been through shit, man. We all got battle scars. We're all going through it, brothers. But the mission is not done though. The fight is not done. Okay, Paul said that we run the last part of this race. Joy, man, knowing that I've done everything to defend Ooh, the gospel, bro. That's so it. many words. Yeah, yeah. That's the same spirit we all gotta be in, man. When we, we in Jacob's okay. trouble, bro. Knowing that, hey, I gave it all my, I gave it all. Don't uh, answer me that any doubt that I could have done this or that. You know, that's what we're gonna find out today, bro. Because I may have those thoughts in my head, man. We'll fucking do more. Simple as that. Seven. It says, by faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High. Right, hey, and that's something that's, uh, uh, in, 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 it's very precious, so to speak, you know what I mean, in so many words. It's something that not many men have. Well, there's a scripture that says not all men have the faith. Uh-huh. All right, so what does that let you know? That it's something precious. All right, so you got to take care of it, man. You got to nurture it. You got to give it uh, food so it could grow in you, man. And what's that food? The scriptures, bro. You read, you study. All right, what does that scripture say? Uh, So, and you'd be like, oh man, you're a good 
But that's how you know you fear the Lord when you feel it. You know, that's how you know you fear the Lord when you like, because the scriptures say what? A just man falls seven times, but he get back up. So you able to check yourself, man. Yeah. These men that won't take off halves when they prophesy, these men that, 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 that sell merchandise, they don't fear the Lord, man. Ultimately, they don't. When you ain't giving up honor to the apostles, the apostles that taught you, right? That's the scripture say, you don't fear the Lord, man. You feel like scriptures talk about seeking preeminence. Scriptures say the promotion comes from the most high, man. It don't come from yourself, man. <laughs> it, don't, it don't come from yourself, man. It come from the most high, man. Don't seek preeminence because then what's your thing? You start what? Doing this for vain glory. You be thinking that these men are yours and not the Lord's, man. Woo! You know? And you thinking that these uh, men are, and you start using them like they're yours, man. Like you Nate or somebody, man. Yeah. You know, using them for all oh, nah, bro. This is a membership for you to come out here and teach. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. Uh, you gotta hey, you gotta buy oh. why you make got your shirt with your friends and you start, you know, you don't want that, man, because then the fear of the Lord exits you. And then what? When you don't fear the Lord, then you're open for judgment. Because what? You won't view what you're doing wrong. See, when you get to the point where scriptures say don't, it's, you know, you can't prophesy and wear your hat. When you get to the point where it's like, okay, I don't, I don't care about that. Yeah. You understand that this man, there's nothing left but death for you. Man. You know what I mean? When, when the fear of the Lord caught the window, there's nothing left, man. When you stop checking yourself, when you fall, just stay there and say, fuck it. And then not only that, I'm going to deceive people with the word. Come on, man. It's a heavy judgment for that, man. You can't do that, man. You, know, you can't you can't be in that spirit. That's why it's a it's a it's a fearful king. Hebrews 10 and 31, man. It's a fearful king to fall into the hands of the living power. That's why we pray and we, man, we hopefully, man, like I said earlier, one call, but hopefully we're that chosen. Now hopefully we can keep pushing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? The Lord hope Lord willing he keep the spirit on us to keep pushing the right message, man. That's it. Because the scriptures say what? The deceive and the deceiver is yeah. And we don't want to be deceivers. Wow. You know? It's a scary thing, man. And, and like the brother was going into, you know, which was well said, you know, it's a momentum thing. Because sometimes, like, the, the, the key is that you always want to remain hot for your how about shimmy, how shy. But it's a momentum thing, man. You know, there are times where you can allow things of the world to consume you more than it should. And you have to be under constant self-examination to identify when those things are happening and then to to get back on the path you know um to to get back to those first works you know the the, the things that are, are pleasing in the eyes of your and that's the beautiful thing about the spirit it condemns you man that 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 conscience will eat away at your ass when you trying to sit back and watch that tv show and you know you ain't reading no scriptures or you know what i'm saying like or you or you trying to make some some, some plans when you know you got need to be prioritizing this work man the spirit will condemn you but real quick i wanted to bring out matthews 13 straight to the point you know this is going into the parable of the sower and the seed but it goes well with what the brother was bringing out this is matthews 13 and 22 it says he also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world okay which can be family it could be friends it could be your woman. It could, you know what I'm saying? It could be your kids. It could be a job. You know? It could be any other bullshit of this world, right? It says the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches, which is what get a lot of, uh, you know, these so-called teachers in Israel, uh, get them snared up. Because they didn't have this shit in the world. Man, before we knew this truth, we all had goals and shit, man. And I guarantee you, everybody's goal was to have that house, it was to have that car, be able to buy their mama that house, you know what I'm saying? Be able to have all these fucking women on their nuts, you know what I'm saying? And we, and we all had the idea, hey, 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 none of us come up with goals to be mediocre, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we wanted that shit too. But the thing is, some men see an opportunity once they get into this truth by the way that they're able to heap men into themselves and then they turn it in to a way for them to get those things of the world that they couldn't before, you know? So it says this, it says, in the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches, choke the word and he becometh unfruitful, man. That's exactly what happens to people and, and the brother was bringing it out. Hey, if you, if you don't start studying, you go a couple days without, uh, you know, reading or, or looking at the videos, 
for one, you feel disconnected in a way, man. It, it almost feel like if you if you don't do that for a few days and you go and be around brothers, you feel some type of way, man. You, be feeling you feel look, fucked up. Looking at you and shit, you know what I mean? Because that, that, that spirit of... Uh, uh, guilt? Guilt. There you go, bro. It's in you. You're like, man, this brother. He knows. You know what I'm saying? Like that's he knows. The Lord, bro. That's the Lord right there. Yeah. yeah. And that's a beautiful thing. Because it's only he that endured to the end that should be saved. You gotta stay in a, in alignment with your how about she me how shot and the things he commanded us to do and the things that we have to be responsible for as as as, as been those that, that have been blessed to have his truth. And you and you have to endure those things all the way until the end. That's including the study. That's including the staying sharp, you know what I'm saying? That's including the being a good brother, you know what I'm saying? Staying on top of or, or, or prioritizing this truth. That's something that we have to stay on top of all the way until the end if we are going to make it. Because the scriptures say that we got to give diligence to make our calling and election sure, man. That diligence comes with consistency. And that consistency is going to allow us to maintain our momentum in this thing when you ain't feeling like you falling off or you took two steps back to take one step forward. If you go to the gym and you work out and you bench pressing 200 pounds and then you skip like three or four or five days in the gym, when you go back and put that weight back on the bar, man, that shit feel different. That shit hard as a motherfucker or you can't even do it. You like, no, I gotta just step back, you know what I'm saying? And then you gotta build all the way back up to that point, man. So that's the way you gotta look at this truth. Uh, it's a momentum thing, man. As long as you're giving diligence, you'll be able to stay hot, man, and stay on top of things. Consistency, bro. That's, that's, a, consistency. that's a key word, consistency. Hey, I even do it like what I do my push-ups every morning and shit. If I yeah. start doing them for a day or two, that day I do do them, it's like, God damn, I can't even get myself <laughs> up and shit, bro. You know, because that consistency, man, and that's what your Havaba Shimmy Havaba is looking for. A consistent man that, that's constantly working, that's constantly repenting, that's constantly seeking after him, man. That's it. Doesn't the scripture say, uh, uh, when thou perceive the spirit of wisdom in man, where that man's uh, footsteps, so to speak? And that's what we do with each other, man. You know what I mean? Because we, we understand that the apostles, the elders, and brothers have that spirit. So what do we have to do? Constantly watch. You know, when that demon kicks, ah, you know, don't watch, bro. You, you're good, you know? That's a demon right there, man. Right? You got to know when to fucking pinpoint his ass and squash him through the spirit and fire. How about Shemel Shai, whether it be through fasting, prayer. You see, we got the tools, man. We just got to implement him when we're going through it. Okay? And sometimes you're not going to do it that quick, man, because the Lord needs to show you that you need to do it, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Lord might have you straddling the fence out there, man. But if you're of the Lord's, you're gonna come back. The Lord's gonna go get you, man. E even if it's by him, you know, when your parents whoop your ass into the door and shit like, oh, <laughs> hey, the Lord might have to do that with you, man. But as long as he do it and you enter into the door, you're good, bro. You know, some of us are gonna go through rougher paths than other brothers, man. And some of us are gonna have to die for this truth, bro. You see? So, uh, Huh. Get that priesthood just to get it out because the brother was talking about them and Shit, that went to the revelation. What you got, bro? I got one a really quick note. Oh, okay. quick this is uh, uh, Proverbs 27 and 17. Iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. Get the other one. Two, uh, two is better than one. Yeah. Uh, run that one more time, brother. Yeah, uh, uh, this is Proverbs 27 and 17. Iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. All right, because the scriptures talk about, man, that hey, life is more than just food and raiment. That's All right, it. so the, the words that the brothers are pushing, man, hey, it's, it's, it's mandatory to be heard, right? Because it tells you in Matthew 4 and 4 that uh, man can survive off of bread alone, man. And hey, by, by experiences, you understand that uh, completely. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're going into it, because, hey, some someone has to hear this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, could be, I, I need to hear this. I need to so, You know what I mean? So you got to always think like that, man. But with the Spirit speaking, take heed to it, man, and, and get what you need to get out of it. If it doesn't apply to you, well, hey, all good for you, man. You'll still get something out of it, right? Yeah. It all, it's always going to apply to everybody, man. There's always something that we could do to, to be better. That's you know? it. Right. This is uh, Sirach 38 and 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. There you go. So the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure, man. You're on your downtime. Hey, you don't got to watch TV all the time, man. Yeah. Hey, when I'm saying that, I'm saying to myself, bro. You don't have to watch TV all the time. You don't have to be uh, hitting up bitches all the time. You don't have to do that, man. Sometimes you got to put that shit down and, and, and enter into the scriptures, man. Yeah. And the Lord's going to uh, multiply you sevenfold, man. The Lord's going to give you an increase. The Lord's waiting for you to do that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a beautiful thing, man. And, and you know what the beautiful thing about it? 
the scary thing about it is that you don't realize they demons until they until you realize that they demons, man. Until you come out of it and be like, oh <laughs> shit, that was a demon. Damn, bro. You know what I mean? That's when you but then you gotta give all praise, honor, and glory to the Lord for bringing you out of that because you gotta let them stuck in there. So, you know what I mean? Cause I know, you know, if you you know if you you know you go a day without reading, but sometimes you'll go into two days and then you look up and be like, and then you go back into reading and then you realize like back to this. I need to try to like talk about the momentum, you know. I need to stay on this path, man. You know, but the flesh, that's the why the spirit and the, 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 the contrary against the spirit and the flesh, they war, man. They've been marinated in this shit, man. So there's no excuse, right? It's no excuse to stay marinated in it, man. There's no excuse to, you know, and, and you can't bring that into this truth, man. See, one thing about the truth is that the first thing, one of the first things you have to realize is that you have to hold yourself accountable. Yeah. And a lot of men in the world don't hold, especially niggas. Very right? important. They don't, they don't hold themselves accountable. It's always the blame game. You know, but when you have extreme ownership, you have the power to fix it, man. And you have the, the mind to fix it, man. And that's what you got to have in this truth, man. It's not always, whoa, me, woe's me, woe's me, man. You got to get out of that spirit. that spirit. You know? You got to get out of that spirit. What? Scripture said, what? Gird up thy loins like a man, man. That's it. The Lord requires that, man. Yeah. You know, the Lord requires that, man. Here it is that we can do it for everything else. We can we can work ourselves up to go to the gym. We can work ourselves up to go see that bad bitch over there and talk to her. Right? We can work ourselves up to, you know, to accomplish, to get some more money. Yeah. Or whatever. But you can't work yourself up to, to, to do the right things you need to do in this truth. But you can do it for the things of the world. Come on, man. No. Like the said, the Lord might be waiting for you. The Lord is, it could be the Lord is waiting for you to, to, to have an increase in this truth. So therefore, he can bless you with the things you think that you're trying to get. <laughs> but you over here trying to get this and you're putting off time with this, man. We I've been guilty of that, man. Yeah. You know, but you gotta go to the says what? Seek the kingdom first, man. And these things should be added. We gotta bring that out. Yeah, get it real quick, brother. God. I wasn't looking too. You know, it says have your eyes single, man. Your mind single. God. You know? I'm holding that too. Oh, you are? God. And everything else and everything else will come, man. Like the brother from LA, I, I watch him all the time, that brother uh, what's his name? Over the M. Yeah. 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 I watch him all the time, man. He, you know, he was going into that, man. Keeping it, keeping this thing simple, right? Doing what you're supposed to do in this thing and keeping it simple. That's discipline, man. You got to be disciplined in this thing. Man. You know what I mean? You got, you can't be undisciplined in this. Thing. You got to be able, you got to have an agenda. That's one thing school taught me. If it taught me anything, was having a fucking agenda, being yeah. organized, man. All right, cool. Boom. All right, gym, right? Gym, fast, right? Teach my videos make some money spend some time with the family right? right but but worship the lord first this is the first thing you got to do man. and then everything else to follow and you notice when you wake up and you watch a video you wake up and you read a scripture right you you could be in that spirit you know the whole day versus you go through the whole day and then try to walk watch a video at night or read scriptures at night you be worn down and tired You're like hey yeah. i'm gonna get to it tomorrow and then you putting off day to day. No, I mean, try to start with it early, man. Yeah. You know? And I'm talking to myself for support. And then, and, then, and, then, like, and then the demons be hitting you too hard, like uh, two days after you, you know, you have a random number or whatnot. The demons be like, nah, man, you ain't gonna make it. There, you know, right, bro. You it's like, yeah. You call the point out, be like, damn, I haven't been praying. You can be like, man, you cut your damn so. Yeah. Like, the right that, bro. That's what you say, make no provision for the flesh. That's part of making provisions for the flesh. Is Right now is a high time to get closer to the Lord, man. To seek Him more. You know, uh, purify that ways. Break your ways, man. Whatever is fucking bugging you, whatever is coming between you and your uh, the growth of your potential relationship with your Hawabash, man. How we should get rid of that shit, bro. There was a certain yeah, uh, there's a certain thing that uh, Bruce Lee said, man. That I made a video a while back. It said, cut all the unessentials, man. Shit that's not making you profit, cut it off, man. Because it's just bringing you down. Yeah. Get your priest, brother. So back what you're saying, this is uh, Get that Matthew, Matthew say, chapter 5 and verse 29. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. That's anything, man. Anything that uh, comes up against the truth, you gotta pluck that shit out, bro. You know, because it's gonna tell you uh, it would be better for you to. Well, read it, bro. Read it, read it. Because it says, For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish 
and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. It might be that bad bitch, bro, that wants you every Saturday to herself. She wants to kick it with you. And she always wants to kick it when you got to do things for your brothers. Why? Because that's the Lord, bro. It's testing you. See, let's see what he does. Yeah. Let me throw this badass, the biggest butt bitch, yeah. the finest <laughs> number 10, bro. Even you'll be like, that, that, why? Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's the Lord. It's a test to see what you're going to do with it, bro. Yeah. You know, are you going to seek the Lord? Or are you going to get this? You're going to get uh, distracted by the cares of the world, man. And it could come in different forms. I use the bitches because we all men, bro. You know that that's a big distraction for Jake, okay? But, you know, nevertheless, it could be your job. It could be a sport. It could be you working out to It could be anything, man. You know, because anything that's done in Nexus, even if it's not wrong or, or wicked, it could become evil, man, okay? God, it says, and if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. I know we're in that time, bro, where we gotta cut shit off. Because, hey, we, we, we started the lesson, what, Ezekiel the 33rd. We're, we're blowing that trumpet, man, that evil is coming. That a sword is being furbished, man, it's being prepared. And we just had Russia pull out of the start. Okay, bro, I was mentioning that, man. And that's basically the Lord uh, sharpening his sword, man, which are those missiles, those ICBM nuclear missiles, which are going to fly from different parts of the earth, man. Hey, that's being prepared, bro. The nations are talking about this, man. Everybody's talking about this, but you Americans. Because you're, you're dumbified, man. You're on that bread and circus spirit. Okay? Come. It's so like it says. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. What's that hell? That thermonuclear fire, man. The destruction. It's a state of, of, of uh, oppression, man. And anguish and pain. Cannibalism, man. That's what's going to happen to all these people that don't take heed to the word, man. Everybody that doesn't make the essential cuts, you know, those, those things that are going to profit their spirit, they're going to find themselves in that lake of fire, man. In death, destruction, anguish, man. Okay? And that's what we prophesied. The book of Ezekiel, the second chapter, says that in, in it are written lamentation and woe, man. That's it. Okay? And these are the things that are coming to the earth, man. Uh. Regardless of what your, of what are, whatever your, uh, your, uh, uh, leader in the church tells you that it's prosperity and prosperity. Nah, man, we're here to tell you that death and anguish and pain are coming to the earth. You got something, bro? Yeah, I got one quick. Did, did you have another precept you, you needed to read? Uh, real quick, this is Colossians 3 and 2. It says, set your affection on things above, not on the things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach in the Most High. Because we are dead to this world, man. If you truly believe in your Habashimi Hashai and you're dedicating your life to serve him, then you're, you're dead to this world. It says verse 4, When Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. All right? And, and, and that's that's part of the suffering. We have to wait until that moment. We have to wait until Yahweh Shai gets the glory for us to get the glory. And, and I tell you, hey, that's part of the fight because that's the challenge. Hey, every now and again, it is bitter seeing all these motherfuckers out here in the world winning and then you suffering all the time. You always broke. You know what I'm saying? Like, you live in check to check and then you seeing all these people out here in the world that's flourishing, man. Sometimes if you look and stare upon that shit too much, you can start to draw a, a form of bitterness about that shit, man. But just keep, keep hey, if you keep thine eyes single on this truth, then you'll learn to kind of ignore what the fuck is going on around you and you stay locked in to what you need to do in this ministry to make it, man. You see what I'm saying? So it's about setting your affections on things above. You know, hey, keep your, hey, stay kingdom minded. Think about the kingdom because then when you see somebody, this Jake, you know, might walk around and, and, and he's got money and, and, and all that, then you don't look on it like it's nothing, man. You look at him like, you know, you see the pride on him. You know, you think he got his drip going and all that shit. But you look at it like it ain't nothing because it's like, hey, all this shit is just but for a moment. But the riches that we're going to have, hey, there's no end to it. There, there's no end. It's everlasting, man. And, and it's forever. So then you look at that shit like it's, it's nothing. It's small fries, man, when you see these people out here in the world that's gaining and, and, and that's gaining the riches of the world. And you just keep your mind focused on the things above, being kingdom-minded and focusing on that. 
because that's that's that, that, that those riches are going to be far greater than any type of amount of wealth that Esau can give you on this side. Yeah, there's a scripture that says, for they have received their consolation, man. Uh -huh. So basically the things of the world, the riches of the world is a consolation price, man. It ain't the true price. The true, the true price, we're working for that, man. That's it. You know, that hasn't been given out, man. The, the, the true riches, the, the true, you know, stability, the, the true sovereignty, that's coming, man. That's not, that's not right now on the planet Earth. You know, because nothing right really that's on the earth, the riches, can compare to what the Lord's going to give his men. That's so I, I have not seen, ear have not heard what the Lord has prepared for them that love them. Okay. All right? So get that real quick, bro, and then I'll get you present. We're going to uh, flip back to the Ezekiel, bro. Okay. That's uh, Matthew 6 and uh, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be... Uh -huh. Read that Good. one more time, brother. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High uh -huh. and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. There you go. All these things shall be added unto you. And that's what we're supposed to seek. The scriptures say, I'll kiss the son lest he be angry, man. And part of us kissing the son is being out here, man. Telling his people what, what the Lord's getting ready to do. All right? So uh, just get that scripture book in Revelation, and then we'll just flip back to uh, the Ezekiel 33. God. And, some scriptures. and the Lord will bless you too, man. You know what I mean? The Lord, the Lord, it ain't all bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Lord, he, he throw blessings, man. He know what we need, you know, ultimately. You know what I mean? So it's not like, you know, we can, you know, the Lord that probably have a, you know, a woman, he probably had no no different chick, you know, for, you know, whatever time. But the Lord that had one fall in your laps, man, that that's something that you need at that moment. The Lord knows what we need, man. Or yeah. as far as money wise, you know, if you need some, Come on hard times, you know, and you, you know, the Lord, the Lord will bless you, man. Indeed, you know I mean? they give you what you need. God. You just have to believe, brother. You okay. Gotta believe, man. Uh, this Revelation two and two, it says, "I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil." We can't bear you, motherfuckers, that are evil, man. That goes into a twofold the people that are Israelites, man, because we understand that the heathen they gotta be evil, bro. They pieces of shit, regardless. It's, it's, a, it's our people, man, the ones that we have that, like, man, motherfucker, you, you could do better, bro. Don't be doing that shit. Yeah. But Jeremiah 5 goes into that, though. Among my people are found wicked men. All right, go ahead, bro. And thou hast tried them, which say they are apostles and are not, and has found them liars. And we see that right now, too. You know, which, you know, creates in us in a, 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 a spirit of annoyance, man. Like, fuck, you know? Why, why are you going to overburden us more with, we already have you, so we already have all the things that we have to fight in this world. Now we got to fight our own people, man, that are pushing evil towards our people, man. You see, the Lord has set up defenders of the gospel. That's part of all this thing, too, man. You know, give the proper breakdowns and set up the heads for the nation of Israel. That's what Ezekiel, the 12th chapter, goes into that they have not done that, man. They basically left the sheep alone and, and, and uh, you know, like the hireling, right? Once the hireling gets paid, they out, man. They ain't going to stand up against the wolf that comes. That's what the wolf, that's what's coming right now, the wolf, man. That's trying to eat, eat up the, the lambs of the Lord. Okay? But the true shepherd, which Lord willing, we're those men, they give their life for the sheep, man. Okay? And if it needs be that we give our life for the truth, hey, so be it, man. That's honor right there, bro. You're going to be one of the first brothers up in the chariot. That's you're right. Gonna be, Ooh, that's you're right. going to be receiving brothers, man, that get beat up. Like, hey, brother, shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got, I got to have that mindset, man. You know? Go ahead. It has born. And this is three, it says, and has born and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. What's that first love? It's this misunderstanding, man. Okay, go ahead. Okay, this is five. It says, remember therefore, who is thou? That's something we always have to remember, bro. We were in the bad condition when we were in the world, man. Even though, you know, you might have been making money and this, this, and that, you were still walking a path of death, man. Okay, you're not having this word, you were part of the congregation of the dead. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, God, it says, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent and do uh, Yeah, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and I will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except I repent. That sums up basically the whole you know, past few hours that we've been speaking of, man. You know that, hey, fucking up, repent, bro. Gates of mercy are still open, man. You know, that's what the Lord, that, that's the whole purpose of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, that we're going to fuck up and we have that blood to cover us, man. The Lord's going to wink his eye at whatever we've done, man. 
the scriptures say, uh, blessed is the man who the Lord shall not impute sin upon. Lord right. willing, we those men. Okay, and that's part of us blowing the trumpet, man, because us blowing the trumpet is uh, purifying us of the blood of men. You know, like Paul said, I have not shunned to declare all things unto you. You know, so now I'm made pure of all the blood of you, man, in so many words. Okay? And that's what we hope and pray that our last in this life, man, that we have no one's blood on us, that we we, we uh, 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 broke down the scriptures, we went in it, we, you know, we, we searched the scriptures, we broke them down, we gave the people the message and the people made the, the, the uh, uh, proper adjustments to their life, man. Okay, that's, that's the whole simplicity of this truth, man. Eat the roll, go out and teach the word. Yeah. And in the hope of being delivered, you know? That's it. You know, I'm gonna bring this out too because you know, I mentioned you, know, you have to repent. And that, that's something that our people don't want to ultimately do. Right, you know, they're, they're, they're in the uh, impenitent mind. I mentioned in Romans the uh, second chapter, that unrepentant mind, man. Right, this, and this, and how should I even mention? Except you repent, you shall likewise perish. God. Right, and, 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 uh, and our heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, how will shy is very merciful, man. Right, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse nine. Know therefore that the Lord Yahweh thy God, He is the Most High, the faithful power, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love Him, and keep His commandments to a thousand generations, and repayeth them that hate Him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. Mm. So on one hand, you got the Lord showing his mercy, but also the Lord, you know, hey, if you hate the Lord and you hate his ways, then the Lord hates you, man. Yeah. It's real simple. That's why we're constantly telling our people to repent because the Heavenly Father has no respect to a person. He don't care if you're rich. He don't care if, you, you know, if you're helping an old lady across the street because I, <laughs> by him, actions are weighed, man. He's weighing, what are you doing for him? Right, and if you, if you can't honestly say in your mind that, that you're serving the Lord these last days, you should be fucking absolutely terrified, man. Because yeah. one of the Lord's titles is the king of terrors, right? And all you people out here that are BSing, man, playing around while you're know, wasting, wasting your grace period, which the Lord gave you to get right, well, in the time to come, he's going to appoint terror over you, man. He's going to have you starving to death, dying of dehydration, right. getting raped to death. Esau, wicked as hell, he don't want to just rape women, he want to rape little kids, little boys, and grown ass men, man. Lord, have you get raped by a whole bunch of Edomites, man. What? You see? Because every all things obey his will. The Lord can appoint you and put you in a situation that you never thought you would be in because you disobeyed his word, man. Uh -huh. See, in that day, the, the, the fear of the Lord is going to be made known. Uh, and, you, and you have to repent to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh -huh. Just because you repented and you think you went to the, uh, the, the church and you went to the altar call, that, that, that don't count, man. That That's not gonna justify you in the eyes of the true power your how about shimmy how was shy man because that's another god that's another god you worship you gotta worship your how about shimmy how shy in, in in truth and in spirit and you have to repent to the god of abraham isaac and jacob because there is no other god man those other gods that that, that our people are following after our idols and and, they, and it's only one name under heaven wherewith you might be saved man so Understand that and know that, man. We're out here proclaiming the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. Hey, Khan, hey, I was happy you said that. Our, uh -huh. our scripture says uh, our people have went rough ways, man. Very rough ways. And Heavenly Father says He would correct us in measure. Yeah. So receive this correction. I got two quick ones. Proverbs, uh, Proverbs eight and thirty-three. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. <laughs> No, man. Don't confuse it, man. <laughs> One more. Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and the proofs of instruction are the way of life. That's what we're out here doing, right? Yeah. We didn't uh, reprove, rebuke, exhort, but all long suffering. Yeah. That's what we're out here to do. Man. This is part of it. You know? This is part of the job. This is part of the ministry, man. Of course, you know, prophecy is the key point of it. You know what I'm saying? But through it, you know, uh, you, you need different tools to be able to endure that so prophetic times, man. You know, evil times are coming. You don't get that real quick. Go to 2 Corinthians. Go to 2 Peter. This is 2 Peter 3 and 9. It says, uh, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as, as some may count slackness. But and, and you might think nothing's happening, man, but it's just happening all the time, man. Especially now, where prophecies are unfolding at an alarming rate, man. You know? Esau's gearing up his, his uh, troops. Hey, brother, send out a fucking video about fucking androids, bro. You know, these motherfuckers look like real humans. You know? That's what's being prepared, man. 
Think about it. That shit crazy. How are you gonna stop a fucking robot, bro? You could suck that shit, your, your hand might break. You know? <laughs> yeah. Feel no pain? You ain't gonna feel sad Terminator. about killing your fucking children? It's just gonna go and do what it gotta do, man. Damn. Damn. Terminator, man. They had that shit in uh, San Francisco a couple months back, man. Uh, the patrol, they was using some like robots to patrol the city and all that. But a robot don't have a, uh, they don't have feelings, man. You can't negotiate with a robot. You know what I mean? So it's just like you can't sue a robot, you can't do shit to it. You can't punish it or nothing. You know what I mean? So that's like a form of an excuse that they're gonna use. But they got all kind of shit, man. You saw got all kind of shit. It's, you know, deluded ass mind. It's a bad scientist, man. hours but every bit of it is like it's real like keeps on the edge of your seat but it's on youtube it's uh free it's called monsters and machines i don't know if you've really seen that man i think it's crazy man it's so but basically in that movie esau has these robots and he had them go and uh kill these innocent people in a certain particular region and uh there was a bunch of tourists that were witnesses and he tried to get rid of the witnesses too one of the robots had uh ended up taking out one of its chips and it started to gain its own contents man mm. and that thing became unstoppable like it knew like all different types of war ta tactics and fighting technique styles and it was like man you're and it's moving like we're gonna be like that man gods you know then you how should i say you are gods it might not look right now but just be prepared man the book of john first john says that it, it does not appear yet what we should be i was just thinking of it Headed asses, man. I don't want to get fucking right. You know, the Lord's being patient with us, man. So why the destruction don't come? Because sometimes, hey, we're not all prepared yet, man. Hey, the Lord's still waking up the elect. The scriptures say that uh, the Lord's holding back the winds of destruction before his man be sealed with his name. All right? So that goes on point with what the scripture just said. That's mercy, man. That's mercy, man. That's mercy, man. Second edge is the 13th chapter. You know, it talks about, you know, it goes into a little bit about how he's gonna come back, man. And it's, it was none but power. None but power, man. You know, in, in violence. <laughs> come on, bro. The world winds of fire, man. You know, the slain of the Lord should be many, man. Come on, bro. You're dealing with uh, the, the mass executor of the earth, man. He killed, he drowned the whole earth, brothers. He flooded it, man. He flooded it, man. You know, well, only eight souls were delivered out of there, Babies, man. Babies, old people. Oh, everybody, man. It was everybody, man. You know what I mean? You're dealing with a power like that, man. You're not going to listen to it. You know, you're not going to think to listen. You're not going to think to, all right, man, let me get my shit together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, but the majority of the world are not thinking like that. they thinking that just because their grandpa and their grandma lived and they've been talking about God and they got to grow old, that they going to get to grow old. You know what I mean? You right. Not, yeah. you, you know, you don't, if you, you can't discern the times or what's going on, man. You don't hear the wars, the rumors of wars, where your house shot told us to look for it. You don't get prophecy, man. You don't understand it, man. Because if you were to understand it, you would understand earthquakes happen. It was just another one that happens. Nuclear wars. Those are the scriptures, man. Wars, rumors, wars, earthquakes, and diverse ways. America is dead. Right? This shit's going down, man. The scriptures talk about Isaiah 30 and 31. And Isaiah 31 is going to close it to those who trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah. Which is America, man. It's yeah. going to be your, to your shame. It's going to be to your fall. You know? Uh, did you want to keep going? Yeah, Second Peter 3 and 10 it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What's that? That's being prepared right now too. You know, the nukes, man. Iran just said that they have a new uh, hypersonic missile. All right, Russia's just pulled out of the START program, which basically limits the, the output of, uh, of missiles, man. So the Lord's sharpening that sword, man. That glittering sword. 
spirit to these uh, scientists to, to fuck with the atoms and break the, 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 the nuclear, whatever it is, man, and, and create these, these uh, weapons of mass destruction, which are the Lord's weapons, man, the Lord's arrows, okay? And that's basically what's being prepared right now, man. That's a focal point, or, or that's the point where, or, or the reason why this, this destruction is going to be remembered for such a long period of time, man. Because the Lord's doing away with thousands of um, thousands of kilometers of land, man. Mm. You know, he's going to leave it as a big memorial for all the ungodly, man. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah, we read in Jude, it was an example of how the ungodly should not live. Well, now you're going to have Babylon the Great America, man. You know, where the bitter and the, the Isaiah 35 goes into all that, man. You know, it's going to be a wasteland, okay? Uh, it says, uh, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. So knowing this, look what the scripture is going to tell you right now, man. So, so now you see all this being prepared, all these being orchestrated. Go ahead, brother. No, 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 no. In, uh, Second Peter three and eleven it says, "Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness?" There you go, man. All holy conversation and godliness, man. Mm -hmm. our, our speech is up in the heavens, man. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about things that you talk to your ordinary human, man. They'll be like, look at you all weird and shit, bro. Yeah, they, might, they, they might call the, the fucking, uh, the, the, those, uh, <laughs> the psych ward on you. There you go, with the water. <laughs> <laughs> they might call that shit on you, bro. You know? Well, some of us might end up in some of them places, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, they might real. think our family might, might uh, come up against us. Remember, the scriptures say, uh, they of the house should be your enemies. Oh, he, he's talking about uh, angels. He's talking about superpower. Hey, man. If you look at all the villains, man, like in the Batman movies, especially, like if you look at Bane, if you look at the Joker, you know the Joker was crazy as shit, but if you look at Bane, they always kind of tell the truth about the society. Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they, and they, and they made them uh, the villains, man. We're yeah. doing the same thing, man. And it goes to the side of the they don't, they don't, script, they don't, they don't like what the Lord did, man. So is the, is the serpent greater than his master? You know what I mean? They don't, they don't like when we do it, you know what I mean? But if you look at it, they paint the villain as the person that's going against the, the, the wickedness of the society, man. Right. And the bad shit that's going on in the society. Like, that's why I like that movie. Bane was beating the brakes off that man. You know, but if you look at what Bane was trying to do, and the message he was teaching, he was telling like, man, they all really the corrupt ones. You know, like Joker, man, y'all really the corrupt ones, man. Even though he was off. Bane was like, man, y'all really, y'all really fucked up. The rich of the city. Y'all really need the ones that need to be in jail. Y'all really need the ones that need to be in court. And we're saying the same thing, man. When you go to Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter, it talks about the mind of the higher ups, the, the heathen higher ups, man. It gives you a whole little play, man, as far as how they think, right? Uh, they say let the law, they don't use the law to their advantage, man. Right, if they don't have any reverence for the Lord. If you look in the Maccabees, first Maccabees, it goes into what? Um, you know, when the heathens came to, to war with us, um, they always were in war with us, man. They always tried to, oh, well, they're building the temple. Let's go break the temple down. Or they're following their God. Okay, well, let's get them to follow our ways. They always try to give Jacob license to sin as if they were God. Right, so good. That's why they are our enemies, man. And we are in enemy land, right? Right. That's why we need to be delivered by the Lord, man. God. Not by ourselves. We can't do it by ourselves. That's why it says, "What the mortal should put on immortality, the fisher should turn into hunters." Man, all the shit we gotta fight, all the shit we gotta face. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, come on. You know, we need the Lord. We need Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. We need him. We need both of them. We need it. We need our powers, man. And that's what we're calling on. And the more we call on them, the more the truth come out. The more you people are going to be offended. The more the higher ups are going to be offended. Why? Because it's the truth. Right? And the wicked people don't like the truth, man. They love living a lie. That's why, like, behind us, you got a woman dressed like a man in a man suit. And you, you got her as if she's marrying a woman, man. And they're both women. But that's what the society, society teaches. And then you got the old bald head nigga over there not correcting their ways, but pushing their ways. This is That right there is an example of what your society pushes and what it has, man. Okay? And that's why what? This place needs to be destroyed because now you get to the point where they know it's wrong, but who gives a fuck about wrong anymore? Who cares? Right? Who cares about wrong? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who cares? Right? So, if she wants to be a man, in her mind, if she thinks she's a man, guess what? She's a man. It feels good. Right? Do what's not with the spirit. It's a spirit man. And when you get into that spirit, then you gotta be destroyed, man, because, boy, you're not representing the Lord that's 
what America, that's what the wine of America represents. It might feel good at first. Yeah, I could do this, I could do that. But the long run of it, man, what's the end of that, man? Death, uh, disease, contamination, man. Look at the earth, all destroyed, man, because this man want to do whatever the hell he want to do. Now we all, we, we got to, what, eat GMO foods. We got to eat, a lot of our food has to have red 40, yellow this, yellow, yellow pink this and shit, man. Uh, names that are longer and they're you can't even pronounce some of these motherfucking ingredients, bro. P X O. Yeah, bro. T A. What the fuck? Like, what they make that out of? Is that a new ingredient? You know, you look at the cereals and all that shit. That shit is. But we ain't going to play enemy territory. And that's what it is. What? We're yet this day in our captivity. We're gone. We're gone. And uh, and we're in the valley of the shadow of death. Death is all around us, constantly, man. Everywhere we turn, it's death, man. You know, and that's why we need the mercy of the Lord that death don't consume us. This is uh, John chapter 3, verse 19. It says, And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil, man. Just going into what the brother was just talking about, of, of you know, he set up the... the image of what we see behind us man you know the confusion that we see behind us and nobody wants to correct them man you you uh you israelites would literally watch wickedness happen before you and 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 there's no review there's nobody to tell these women that they off you know that 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 the the shit that's accepted in this world is off you know, only those that had the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai are gonna give out that rebuke. And, and, and regardless of how people feel about it, you know, what we're gonna do is establish the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and we're not concerned with people's feelings, man. That's why people hate us so much. That's why people hate us so much because we'll tell them the truth to their face, even if it'll hurt their feelings. All right? But. The people of this world, hey, they love darkness rather than light. They, they they will avoid this light because this light will expose their sins, man. It will expose their, their their wicked ways. And they don't want that to happen, so they try to avoid this light, man. That's why they love that fucking darkness. Our people have fallen in love with evil, man. You know, and and, and some some of this shit, you have to tell them that th that shit is wickedness, man. When when you when you put pork on your fork, that's fucking wickedness. Our people need to know that shit. A lot of our people, they, they try to act like they're ignorant to these things, but when you tell them, then you become the enemy. All right? But our, our, our people have fallen in love with wickedness, and that's why we keep telling our people it's time to turn back to righteousness. The, the wages of sin is death, pursuant to Romans 6 and 23. If you continue in those ways, then death will surely come. Antichrist in the world, man. Uh -huh. This is Yahweh Shai is the way, the truth, and the life, man. Right? People are anti the way. Right? The right way of doing things, people are against that. Uh -huh. Right? The truth, they don't want to hear the truth. They're against life. Two women is is the opposite of life, man. All right. So I got a quick one, real quick. Before yeah, we what go. signifies what death? What does it signify? It signifies death, man. Right? That's what. That's ultimately what's being pushed through. Just that. Right. It's uh. Uh, John 7 and 7 it says uh, the world cannot hate you but me it hateth because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil to the woman, man. The woman you're dealing with most of the time has been dealt with. You know what I mean? And then you hide and hold her on high regard, but that's everything in this, in this, in this society. You know, it's a bootleg-ass society, man, where you really don't enjoy the fruits of nothing. You know what I mean? You don't want because it's wicked. And so it's like scripture saying, what? The fashion of this world should pass. It has to pass away. It has to, man. It's not going to be like this, and we're not going to have to see, you know, two women, one pretending like she's a man, one pretending like she's a girl calling themselves husband and wife. You know? Our people doing that shit. Stiff neck. Israelites, man. You know what I mean? We're not going to have... But what? Because what? The fear of the Lord is not here, man. 
on the majority of these people yet, but it's about to be. And this, this, what's coming, man, is, is, see, people forgot about the flood, man. You think that's just a, that's not a, 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 a nice story. That's not, you know what I mean? A mass death is not nothing nice, man. You know what I mean? That's not a, a power you should play with, man. That's a power that's, that, that needs to be feared, man. You have to fear the Lord, man. But instead, you trust in the shadow of Egypt. Let's get that to Isaiah 30. God says, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 31, it says, And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Yeah, what's the fashion of this world? Men being effeminate. You know what I mean? Moles running around. You know, that's the fashion of this world, man. Do as thou wilt, as I said earlier. That's the fashion of this world, man. You know? Always on the scene, always on the, uh, uh, um, that, that self-worship spirit. You know? Not seeking any, any power above yourself. <laughs> you know, that's the fashion. That's what this world pushes and it teaches. You know? But the, the not only is the fashion of this world uh, passed away, but the leaders are with it. And we're going to have a new rulership. That's why scripture says in Isaiah the second chapter, the law shall come forth out of Israel, man. When the true biblical Israelites are in power. Okay, go ahead. Whatever else I do. Yeah, let's get into that wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter. Did you have a yeah, quick one? Yeah, go ahead. You're right, right. There's no apostle to hard deem this year, man, that Lord willing all the prophecies be fulfilled this year. Because we're hastening this coming. That shows that we want to get the hell out of here, right? Second Ezra 2 and 13. Go and ye shall receive. So go until you have Bashim Yahushai. Then we shall receive, all right? Pray for a few days unto you. That's what the brother's saying. We, hey, bro, this place is a vexation of spirit. You should be praying for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Solomon chapter 2 and verse 1 it says for the ungodly said reasoning with themselves but not aright our life is short and tedious and in the death of man there is no remedy yeah, that's a yellow right that's why these people uh, they don't commit sin like you wash off the shower you know what I mean like they just made no after eight day shower man that's, that's how they live man. you know what I mean you know but what that means what I'm saying is so, uh, it says what after wicked uh, after king is wicked the people are as well, right? So it starts at the top, then it flows down to the bottom, man. So, you know. Because even when we are rule, you heathen are going to have to get on our accord. Period, man. You know. Yeah, you might be like you had these two little Elamites that came up here doing what they was doing, and the kingdom ain't gonna be none of that, man. Yeah, you could get you know get what you get your little ones off right now, man. But in the time to come, right? You're gonna be it's gonna be known that you were made spittle, man. Don't forget that, man. You other nations are, are made spittle, man. And really, you, re you you were made to serve us, man. But what? We went off. Right? We didn't follow the law, statutes, commandments, which shows that we're the people. Okay? What it says, I've seen servants on horses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, man. Continuing on, it says, Neither was there any man knowing to have returned from the grave. For we are born at an all adventure and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been for the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the morning of our heart which being extinguished our bodies our bodies shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air and our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance and that's that's true right because we understand that esau Right, it's not going to be wiped out, man. When you go to the book of Obadiah, it says there should be no more remaining in the house of Esau. So for the, it says what? Jacob have I loved, and Esau have I hated. So how wicked do you got to be for the Lord to hate you, man? To to make you a stink, man. So what what are what are you doing that the people don't know? What are you doing behind closed doors? And a lot of this shit is sick, man. That they do. Okay, jump down to uh, uh, ten. Solomon chapter 2 and verse 10. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Yes, he let us oppress him. And that's always been the MO. Man. That's always been the MO, man. Okay, like I was mentioning in the, in the Maccabees, man. What they do in that time? They did the same thing, man. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Why? 
You know why? Because they understand that we're not for their turn, man. That's why scripture say what? No hand join the hand that we should not fall punish. So you got jakes that want to join hand with these people. Right? But they're not for our turn, man. And we're not for their turn. Exactly. They're the enemy, man. And it's clear as day on why they're the enemy. I don't really need to say why they're the enemy, man. You see what's going on. You see how they move. You see how they talk. You see what they do. Okay, but yeah, you want to join hand in hand with these people, well, you'll be destroyed with these people. You know, go ahead. Come on. It says, let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the aged. Let our strength be the law of justice, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Yeah, so that's what they're, like I was talking about earlier, man. That's why we got it. You know, let their strength be the law, man. Their law. What they push. Which they don't view righteousness, man. They don't. They don't judge according of what's right and what's wrong most of the time, right? Because you could be wrong and have a lot of money and buy your way out of jail. Man. You know what I mean? With the law, you couldn't do certainty. You can't. You can't buy yourself. You, it's some some uh, sins were uh, uh, worthy to be punished by death. It, it wasn't no buying that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the Lord says. He's not a respecter of persons. persons. Right. You know what I mean? But here, it's, it's the, that's what you have, man. And that's why the passion of the Lord is going to pass away. And it has to. It has to. You'll be a fool to think otherwise, man. And you'll be a fool to keep trusting this place, knowing that we're bringing all, all this up. You're an Israelite, and you understand. And you have a, you know, you get it. You'll be a fool to keep tiptoeing. You know, because what? Scripture said what? If you're lukewarm, the Lord will spit you out of his mouth. So get it while the gates are open, man. You know, don't wait till it's too late. That's right. Go on. It says, oh, uh, it's like I love it. Come verse 11. Come let, 12, 12, 12. Come verse 12. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn, and he is clean, contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us with our offending the law, and object and objecteth to, to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. He professeth to have the knowledge of the Most High, and he calleth himself the child of the Lord. And we do it. And they're offended about it. But we can prove it. We can prove it. And the reason why they're, you know, partly why they're offended, because what? They're not a part of the, the, the covenant. They're not a part of the promise, man. The covenant to come. Let me be clear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you got a lot of people saying that we in a new covenant. No, we not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you. So let me be clear, man. <laughs> you know, go ahead with your Hey, I can read that part that said about the righteousness. Yeah, can't read that again. Kind of says, uh, God said, therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. Kind of, that's the point. It says they're waiting for the righteous. It's Proverbs 12 and 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, all right? But the way of the wicked seduces them. Uh, yeah, because yeah, so the righteous is the children of Israel, all right? Yeah. Scripture says what nation is like unto them, all right? The laws are our righteousness that he gave to us so we can walk upright. So we are the righteous, right? It says, but the way of the wicked seduce them. So they seduce us with the damn money, man. It says the gift destroyed the heart. They know that, man. All these people signing contracts are being seduced. Right? They, they got them thinking like uh, the top of that chapter says, uh, they ain't gonna live right now. That's just joy in here, bro. And that's how they get you. So a lot of rappers is like, man, and we're gonna, we gonna live on earth like it's heaven. I heard that uh, Big Sean say that. He gonna give his, give his niggas uh, heaven uh, on earth. I was listening yeah, to that. Bro, I was like, what? Well, there's no such thing, you know? But, that's the way of the so-called white man. It's taught our people that way of life, you know? So you in hell, man. You in hell no matter what. If you a Jake, you in hell, man. And hell is a condition. Okay, it's a condition, man. These, these, if you under the curses, you in hell. I don't care what level you at, man. You know, I don't, I, it isn't, you know, because you're still being oppressed. You're still going through certain things, man. You know, if you got a lot of money, it's a lot of money that you didn't get. <laughs> too. You know what I mean? So don't forget about that side as well. So you're still being oppressed, man. Because what we're under these curses proving that we're the, the Israel. Hey, even Snoop thought he was saying like how uh, these rappers that make money, man, they're not really making the money, man. You know, you, you, they gain the, the basically the 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 what was that word? The, uh, the scums that fall off the table, basically, because oh, these record labels they're reaping the real benefits, man. Yeah. So you're creating everything, but you're not you're not. Uh, what was that scripture? You you. You work a lot and bring bring oh, little yeah, something yeah, to that yeah, effect yeah, in the book of Haggai. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. our people, man. You know what I'm saying? Because in reality, you're creating everything, but you're not really getting the benefits of what you're creating, man. You know, you could just use that little music, the music, the music industry as a 
a, a, a small example of that, man. Hold on, well, oh, okay. that's really good. Oh, you gonna... Yeah, hey. Uh, no, I heard I'm too old. Uh, <laughs> hey, because uh, I watched an interview where um, T-Boss with TLC was uh, was talking to... Uh, man, I can't remember the lady's name, but she was talking about back when, you know, TLC was popping and how they, they had, uh, you know, sold like 70 million records or some some crazy number and brought in you know hundreds of millions of dollars and then the record company had paid them fifty thousand each bro so that that goes to show you and they was at and they was the number one group in their prime like in the country and they had generated all of those millions of dollars and they literally got 50k to the point where they all had they they all grabbed guns and went up to the record label and held, held them motherfuckers at gunpoint like where are checks you know what I'm saying? Like she was telling this story in great detail, but that goes to show you the curses. You can be as great in stature as you want to be in this society, all the fame and all of that, but at the end of the day, it's someone else that's Sorry. behind the scenes reaping all the benefits of your labors and not you, man. The scriptures talk about how we're going to suck the milk, you know, or the, or the kings and all that stuff to earth. You know, we're going to get it all back, man. But right now, that's what they're doing to us. And, and, and Jake is the salt of the earth, so they using us to their advantage. Well, the law makes us separate from these other nations. It makes us separate, okay? Which we're holy people, okay? That's why we were given the law. That's why we the ones that are under the curses, because we went off. We're supposed to be separate, not along with the heathen. We're supposed to be separate, man, different, okay? You know, they're not under the curses, man. They don't, they don't have the law. The ones who, who look like them that are under the curses is really us. Okay, well, let's grab that. Okay. This is uh, the prayer of Azariah, uh, verse 5. It says, In all the things that thou hast brought upon us and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, thou hast executed true judgment. For according to truth and judgment, didst thou bring all these things upon us because of our sins. Because of our sins, because we went off, man. That's why we went into captivity under these nations, man. That's why America is the worst captivity. Because here it is, Jake don't know who he is. Jake thinks he's an African-American, he thinks he's a nigga, right? He thinks since his lineage started on a slave ship, man. But what about before that? And then most niggas can't get past west, the western coast of Africa. Yeah. What about before that? Yeah. You know, it's the difference, you see, I always say this, man, they know the difference between uh, uh, a Japanese man and a Chinese man, but don't know the difference between a Hamite and a, and, and a Judite. Okay? Come on, man. You got to get past that, man. Okay, go ahead. All right, verse 6. For we have sinned and committed iniquity, departing from thee. Yeah, we departed from the Lord, man. By committing uh, iniquity, committing sins, man. Doing what the heathen has done. Okay, go ahead. All right. Verse 7. And, and so, so uh, all these curses came unto us, right, from departing away from the law. Why, do, why will we continue to, to, to dwell in wickedness? Why will, why will we continue to do as, as after the heathen does? Why would you do that, man? But here in America, they teach you to do that. They push that. Why? Because why? they want to keep you away from the Lord, man. You know, that's their whole agenda. That's Esau's whole plan, man. Okay, he wants to keep you away from the Lord, man. The closer we come to the Lord, the more the house of David is being built, the more you see a decrease in the fucking uh in America, man, all throughout the earth, really. That's it. Because brothers are scattered all across you know, the four corners of the earth. Okay, go ahead. It says uh, verse seven, and all things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. Wherefore all that thou hast brought upon us. And everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment. In true judgment, man. Okay? Again, because we went off. But yet the Lord, what? He, he gave us room to repent, man, which is now. Right? The gates of mercy is open. You can change your ways, man. And come back to the Lord, which the Father name is Yahweh, His Son name is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Not Jehovah and not Jesus, man. And even then, on the, on the basic level, when you get a real 1611 King James Version, it only got a J in there. They got an I for where the, where the J is, man. So you got to ask yourself, well, what is his name? And he's a Hebrew man. Does he have a Hebrew name? Like I asked Jake uh, at Kent, uh, before we went to Kent last week. I'm like, what's your name? I forgot what he said his name was, but I called him a different name. And I said, would you answer to that name? He said, no. 
I said, so what makes you think that the man who created you will answer to a different name? <laughs> Come on, man. Go ahead. Well, there's that scripture too. Uh, there is only one name to call upon where man should be saved. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here it is. I mean, you say Elam name, right? And if his name is uh, Abu, right? You'll say that in English, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, you'll say Muhammad in English. It's not time for you for me to get the name. Now he gave it, bro. Right. You know? Right, come on, man. You know, so that's the name we gotta keep, man. Which again, the father name is Yahweh. The son name is Yahweh Shah, right? Not Jehovah, and not Jesus. Okay? You gotta go deeper than what your Christian church tells you, man, and what that pastor teaches you. Okay, because here it is, we'll we'll go on and we'll go from precept upon precept, line upon line in the church, they'll stay on one precept for the whole fucking for the whole speech, man. Because really it's powered by motivation. I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. How you gonna stand stiffly for the name of the Lord without knowing the name of the Lord, man? It doesn't make sense, man. There, there, there's men that the Lord is gonna give his name to. Let me see if I can find this real quick. Um, real quick, I wanted to get this one. Because there's a scripture that say what? That I manifested the name. I manifested thy name. Uh, okay, kind. I was in the right chapter. This is uh, John seven, uh, John seventeen, and uh, and verse six. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse four. It says, "I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was." Verse 6, it says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. So if you don't have a name, then guess what? You're not those men that Yahweh Shai is referring to in this scripture, man. There are men on this earth that he's going to manifest the name Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai too. And we have it. So Lord willing, we those men. It says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. And they have kept thy word, man. So there you go, man. There's going to be men that are going to stand stiffly for the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Right. And there's going to be men that the names were manifested to, man. Right. So this, I got one. This, is, this is Ecclesiasticus uh, 17 and 7. Without, he filled them with the knowledge of understanding and showed them good and evil. He set his eyes upon their hearts, which is our mind, 
that he might show them the greatness of his works. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever that they might declare his works with understanding and the elect shall praise his holy name. That's it. That's all. Yeah, kind of elect shall praise his holy name. You know? Come on, man. You know, and Lord willing, we be those men, man. You know, but you got to pray to those names, man, in order for to be, to be saved, man. You know what I mean? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to get this in the NLT, if I may. Isaiah 52 and 5, it says, What is this? Ask the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, why are my people enslaved again? Those who rule them shout in exultation, my name is blasphemed all day long. Verse 6, but I will reveal my name to my people and they will come to know its power. Right. Ooh, <laughs> then at last they will recognize that I am the one who speaks to them. Right, exactly, man. Brother, on point, I was in the NLT? NLT, yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Isaiah 52, 5 and 6. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, this is, listen, man. It, it, scriptures don't lie, man. Okay? But you got a lot of men that are saying, uh, uh, you know, Christ bless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, that's not what the scriptures say, man. You got to know his name in order for to call upon him. Because who you going to call on? Okay? Who you going to call on at the time of trouble? You don't know his name. Come on, man. You got to call 911. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, it's, a, it's certain you got to call something in order to get something. Thanks. Right? Uh, Come on, man. Jake been calling on Jesus for years. Ain't nothing been happening, man. But yes, since you got men, you got to call. All kind of things. Yeah, that's what you're doing. And it's power in the name, man. Hey, and the ones that's calling on Christ and, and, and Jesus and all that, they wax and worse and worse, man. Right. They, they, they teaching doctrines about hell underground, man. You know, that our people are going to die and burn in hell forever. You know, they teaching them that the MOTB is sin. And the MOTB is an embargo and all this stuff, man. Hey, they getting worse, man. They getting worse and worse. Why? They are not connected to the truth. They're Hey, that's a slap in the face to the most high. How the hell are you gonna know his name and have a congregation of hundreds of thousands of fucking people and then don't even teach him the name, man? You don't even establish that name amongst your congregation. Hey, that's fucking arrogance, man. Hey, you gotta be out of your fucking mind and do some shit like that. Hey, the apostles said that they had a meeting, bro, where they all took a pact that they were not gonna use the name of Yahweh by Shimi Hawa Shark. Man, if, I, if I'm in that meeting, bro, I'm walking my ass out of there, bro. Like, fuck that. Because what is it about? It's about numbers for you. certain things in the scripture you don't fear the lord man for gain you don't fear the lord man for anything you don't fear the lord no? okay show you that you're not of the lord man you're right okay. oh, this is uh, acts chapter uh two and verse 21 and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved <laughs> hey bro so you have a, plet a plethora of all these scriptures that clearly say calling on the name of the lord and you're going to be saved. Well, isn't there a scripture that says uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it, man? So what the fuck is these people talking about, bro? You know, that's how you know that 501c3, all that is, is coming into play where you're not able to talk the, the pure words of the Lord. You have about shit, man. How shy, bro? You've been compromised. You can't serve two masters, man. Read the scriptures. You, you can't, man. <laughs> Even with that uh, burden, Ernie, dude, man. Right, you know, they had mentioned a few, a few days ago how the Heavenly Father didn't give us his, uh, his heavenly name, his earthly name, man. Well, what the hell are you talking about, man? Wax and worse. Say, whose mouths must be stopped. All right, I'm doing it just wax and worse. Of the whole circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped. Ah, right. Our people, this so fair house. Yeah, these niggas, man. These niggas, these, I always think these, 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 uh, these plantation Negroes, man. Okay, you got that stock home syndrome. Or the so-called white man, because really that's your purpose for the so-called white man is what you niggas don't see. Your purpose for the so-called white man, man. Your purpose for your enemy. If you hide back what's in the what's in the scriptures and you know the truth, 
your puppets for the so-called white man, man. Period. Man. You know? And you're an enemy of the Lord, bro. Yeah. You know, which is the, you know, the, the scariest thing right there. You don't be, you don't be no enemy of the Lord, man. When especially when the Lord brings that judgment to His enemies. Yeah. This is uh, Baruch chapter two. This is uh, verse thirty. This is Baruch chapter two and verse thirty. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. So we are in the land of our captivity. We are remembering ourselves. <coughs> we are understanding that we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. We're the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. Go ahead. Come, verse 31. And shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I give them in heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Exactly, man. And that's what you have here, man. See, when you came into the truth, you got the name, man, because of the truth. Man. Okay? So ain't no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no confusion in that. The Most High is not an author of confusion, man. It is what it is, man. That's his name. Okay, the father name is Yahweh. The son name is Yahweh Shai, man. Here you go ahead. Put that up, Ruth. No, we're going to select it. This is the book of John, the third chapter. Just real quick. John chapter 3 and verse 18. It says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. Now you can't get around it, man. Ain't no way around it, man. You too high to go above and you too low to go under, man. Ain't no way you can go, man. You know? God, you know, see what I'm saying? It says that you're already condemned for not believing in the name of Yahweh Shai, man. Because through Yahweh Shai is how we're going to be able to have our sins forgiven, man. Right? Lord willing that the blood of Yahweh Shai covers us, man. They're in that spirit where they're trying to enter into another way, bro. Yeah. And what does what the Lord say? The same as a thief and a robber, man. You know, there's only one way to come into this, man. And it starts with the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, I, I remember when I first learned the name, bro. I was like, oh, man, there's power in that, man. Let, let me call upon this, man. See? So. Yeah, I immediately dropped Jesus. It wasn't even yeah. I, 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 was, I felt like I was going off if I said it to somebody else. Hey, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I immediately, it was like immediate drop. It was just. Out of my vocabulary, you know, and then you get offended when you hear people say Jesus. That's like a cuss word. What? Hey, well, those are the true curse words, bro. You know how people try to get us for saying the yeah. fuck and this, this, and that. Well, that's really a curse right there, man. The Lord's name is in His name, and the Lord's name is in Judah. Yahweh it's, praise. It's Yahweh praise. Yeah. It's, it's the Lord praise, man. So, how is that not the name? That gives that's that's like a blaring clue that the name is Yahweh, man, because His name is in the name of Judah. Because yeah, uh, Leah was praising the Lord because He had given her a son, man. Yahweh praise. Yeah. Yeah. So Our children are put to shame. Our priests are burnt. Our Levites are going into captivity. Hey, are these not curses? Yep. Is this not hell? Right. Did this happen to every nation? It didn't, man. It happened to us. Okay, this is why we're in a predicament that we're in now, man. But what? We got the truth now. Right? So you would think that our people, like, you know, how our minds was when we first heard the truth. 
You know what I mean? We was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, you immediately started trying to get right, man, and you were like addicted to it. It was like, you know, I couldn't stop watching videos. Even though I was getting cut, I couldn't stop watching. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, it was, uh, you was in 15, 16 videos, like 16. 10 videos a day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just, I mean, I used to have to walk to work, man. I used to listen to a video all the way to work, and I used to couldn't wait to get off work to walk home and listen to a video right. and, 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 and then cook and then read the yeah, scriptures, man. You know, because what, Sophia, man, you know, that, that's that spirit, man. You know, that's the spirit we gotta have now still. That first love that the brother was talking about, man. She's the baddest, brothers. She's the baddest, you know. She ain't gonna give you any of the problems that these women in the world give you, man. You're gonna find comfort and rest, man, like a woman should be. You see, because a woman was created to what? Be a help me. So when so scriptures are likened unto a woman, because that's really what the scriptures do for us, man. You know, they, they, they comfort us, you know, they, they, uh, uh, you know, they're the balance to our roughness, so to speak. You know what I mean? And, and they give you comfort, man. That's what the scripture is known as the God sent comfort. You know? Yeah, when you talk about wisdom, you know, when, when you, you want, wisdom will get you out of trouble. You know, wisdom will uh, have you up for You know, and, and the comfort of the Lord will have you out of trouble as well, man. You know? Right? He's a shield and look unto the upright, man. That's why we try to be our best, do our best to be upright, man. You know, so therefore we're not in a predicament that the two thirds are going to be in, man, or really the rest of the world is going to be in. Right? Which is that punishment? Because what? The second death has come about way of what? Fire, which we'll get into as well. First it was by water, now it's by the opposite fire, man. Right? 200 million missiles on the place y'all love so much, man. Okay? So how wicked, how wicked is this place to get, to get 200 You know what one missile can do? Come on, man. You know, but you can between the lines of that. You know, I just, oh yeah, okay, I, I, I think about it. I think about serving the Lord. You can't serve the Lord like it's a chore. You can't serve the Lord like like he owe you. You know what I mean? You can't have that mentality. You can't let people in the world have that mentality. Man, he, uh, like it's a choice or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, man. This is, our, this is our duty as a man, man. As an Israelite man, this is our duty, man. You know, go ahead. Virgins are defiled, and as you know, you heathens have defiled and found our virgins. The first one says, I thought you put a quick clip and said, um, the slave master gets first dibs at our virgin women, man. All right, and then you think about, um, uh, because uh, Judah's sister, I forgot her name, basically, man, she laid with a heathen man, and he was vexed by that shit, man, you know, because he was a, a defiled person. He didn't, his foreskin wasn't cut in a sense, you know, going into that story, man, he slaughtered a lot of them for that, but basically, man. This is the point that the brother's speaking out. This is our virgins are defiled and our wives ravished. Our righteous men carried away. Our little ones destroyed. Our young men are brought in bondage. Come on, man. Captivity, man. Curse is captivity, man. Okay? Captivity, man. And yet we're still under the state of captivity. It's proven that we're not in the company. You know, go ahead. It says, uh, but what? I'm not, the new covenant is coming. Don't get, me, don't get me wrong, but we're just not in it yet. We're still yet to stay in that captivity. We not. We haven't been saved from anything yet. Man. Saying you in the new covenant is basically saying that you part of a life, man. Basically, you know. But how can you make yourself with that number and you don't know? It's a faith thing, man. Okay, go ahead. You kind of, uh, to, to back that up is uh, Jacob's sister. Jacob, one of Jacob's daughter. Jacob's only daughter named was Dina. Uh, Dina, the, the water brother. I figure you were. I was about to tell you. I think you were talking about Dina, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 It kind of like it says, uh, "Our young men are brought in bondage, and our strong men are become weak. And which it says, and which is the greatest of all, the seal of Zion hath now lost her honor, for she is delivered into the hand of them that hate us." Come on, man. And will we not deliver into the hand of them that hate us even yet to this day? Come on, man. How can you get around it, man? So knowing that, how do you think, how can you put off the name, man? Knowing that you would, come on, man. Scripture say what? That, that, that Esau is the Lord's sword, man. Come on, man. But yeah, you will have more fear for Esau and take his 501 than have more fear for the Lord. Come on, when the scriptures say when a man ways pleases the Lord, he making his enemies to be at peace with him. So it's not about, it's not about, for y'all, it's not about serving the Lord for y'all, man. It's about what? 
numbers. It's about money. It's about vain glory. It's about some some fleshly shit, man. And it's demons on you niggas, man. You know, for us, it's about serving the Lord, man, and getting the truth out, man, and making sure we do what we gotta do. So therefore, we might have some salvation. Uh, uh, we might be delivered in that day, man. Okay, and really going and really doing this thing for the right reasons, man. That's it. And not trying to get breakdown so you can see him so deep and wild people. Right? Because you got a lot of niggas like Sakari. I know they do that, man. You know? Oh, he's doing this breakdown, going that breakdown. To make yourself seem like, because what? Scripture say what? Knowledge is public, man. Yeah. So you want to wild the minds using breakdowns that you got from the apostles and then not get apostles no respect. That's a nigga for you right there, man. Yeah. Nigga need his wisdom teeth slap out his mouth, man. I, don't, I hate niggas, that's because what it is is a covetous spirit, man. That's what it is. What scripts talk about being covetous, man. That ain't brotherly at all, man. See, when a man rebuke you, if you say, hey, take off your hat, it's because the scriptures say take off your hat, man. When you, when you, when you, uh, you know, when you out here prophesying, there's certain things you got to do, man. Okay? But when you, no, oh, no, and you get offended, that's, that's what bitches do, man. That's what women do, man. When your woman hears something that she don't like, and it might be right for her, she gonna be emotional. Men, we're out not to be emotional. We're not out, we can't be effeminate, man. You know, when a man rebuke you, it's really out of love, man. <laughs> right? When a man don't tell you nothing, that's that's hate. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, okay, he fall into a hole? Okay, good, let him fall into the hole, man. Right? And these so-called men, death to the so-called white man, man. Right? Death to these Edom, I hate these fucking Edom. Right? And I hate niggas that love the heathen, man. We niggas need to be destroyed with them niggas, with, with the heathen too, man. Perfect hatred. You know? Go ahead. Wait, was that in on yeah. that? Let's get back to that. Pray right. high for it. So the praiser, prayer of Azariah. I'm justified to feel how I feel, man. Because if you look at the wickedness of these fucking heathen, man, you will, you will, it, it will piss you off, man. And if you look at our people that side with these motherfuckers, and that'll piss you off some more, man. And just being here and gotta deal with this shit, man. And being confined to this shit with these fucking heathen things. Knowing that they're wicked. Knowing who they are. Knowing that they don't have no respect for us, man, as far as uh, knowing that some of them knew what we were, they don't want us to know we Jake, man. Right? Because what? They only gain off of us being in captivity. So as long as they keep us in captivity, they can gain. What part of that you niggas? And then you got niggas that put on fringes and say, we're not going to say the name of the Lord. I got one for you, brother, if I may. That's great. I got a book. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 74, verse 18. It says, Remember this, that the enemy hath reproached, O Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yoshai, and that the foolish people have blasphemed thy name. Yeah. The foolish people have blasphemed the name of the Lord, man. Okay, and that's what you're doing, showing your lack of fear, man. But the Lord gonna show you niggas, man. Okay, the Lord gonna show you niggas. I got a quick one oh, for you, go bro. Go ahead, go ahead. This is Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in hey, remembrance. Man, to cut off a nation, man. You know, in the scripture says later on, it says they're confederate, man. Mm -hmm. Cut off a, a nation and people, you got to take away their name. You got to take away their, what they do, their, their, uh, customs. Their customs. Right, you got to take away what they believe in, and you got to put what you believe in or an idol in front of their face, which is exactly what they did, man. Right, and not only that, you're going to gain, and they do it by gen they've done it by generation because it's a part of their plan, bro. It's systematic, and they all fall to one accord. That's why the scriptures say they are confederate against us. Come on, man, these everyday motherfuckers, man. And you niggas out again, you niggas out here hiding the truth, sitting on it. You're no better than the heathen at that point. Nigga, you in the way, and you gotta get out the way. And the Lord is gonna get you in the heathen out the way, man. No, uh, real quick, uh, this is 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 3. It says, but he that. Y'all know America will be destroyed, right? I know America will be destroyed, right? I don't want to hear that, man. Why? Isaiah 31 and 1. Isaiah 30 and 1. See, they're dead, man. These motherfuckers, they're deaf in the ears, man. And 
we can prove how it's gonna be destroyed. Exactly. But them the same motherfuckers that's gonna panic when it when the missile gets shot around this bitch, man. That's right, bro. They're gonna think back on the fact that they heard a young brother say it when they was walking on the streets. <laughs> They're gonna think back on that moment. Come on, man. Real quick, this is uh 1 Corinthians 14 and 3. It says, But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. This is what the Lord gave us these words, uh, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to do. Now, you got some men hiding the truth. You got some men that they learn the scriptures because it says, What? Freely have you received, freely give. We ain't charging you no money. We're not making no merchandise out of this. We're not giving you all the extras. We just straight up feeding you with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay, by giving you the breakdowns of these scriptures. And it says we're supposed to speak to men to edification, exhortation, and comfort. But then you just That just goes into order, bro, because not all of us could be the, the head of the camp, right? They has to be one head, because then it would be, uh, oh, I want to do it this way, I want to do it that way. You know what I'm saying? And that just goes into order, man. You know, Lord has different uh, uh, di different of us doing different things for the ministry, but it's all building up. See, if you don't have a hand, your body's not working properly, man. And we always go into that. You know, every every even those members that, that seem less honorable, 
those are the ones that are required the most because they keep things together, man. You know, and that's what we all here for, to keep each other together, keep each other sharp. Two is better than one, brothers. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's that's the message that we're preaching out here. You know? Got Book of Romans chapter, chapter 1, verse 29. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind to do to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness fornication wickedness maliciousness, maliciousness full of envy murder debate deceit malignant God, and like whisper, yeah, God, and that's what you have to this day still. On well, you niggas, man. Being covetous, man. You know? Debate, deceit. You know? Full of envy. Murder. Okay, that's what you have, man. Seeking preeminence, man. You know? Rather than doing a thing, rather than doing this truth for the right reasons, man. So therefore, you can fight. Be, have some salvation in that day, man. Okay? How much rap videos you done did, or how much uh, Hebrew uh, friends church you done sold? You know how much people you done got into your congregation, and how much views you got on your YouTube. All that, come on, man. Yep. You know, if you've been teaching wickedness, that's not going to matter. Right. Okay. It's, just, it's not. And it's not going to get you delivered. That's on your head, but you don't even know that about yourself. <laughs> so who do you think you're fooling, man? You know, keep going up. Okay. Romans 1 and uh, 30. It says, backbiters, haters of the most high. That's what you are, really. If you ain't teaching this truth, right, in truth and sincerity, you hate the Lord, man. And you using the Lord for your gain. Just like a nigga, man. Just like they was back in the old time. Go ahead. It says, uh, backbiters, haters of the most high, despiteful, proud, boasters. Yeah, can't tell you nothing. Right? Can't tell you nothing. Can't tell you to take a hat off without you being offended. Can't tell you to teach the right thing without you being offended. Right? Can't tell you not to have long hair without you being offended. Long hair all the way down your back and shit, man, like, a, like a bitch. From the from say a script, say a sin for men will not be reproved. Come on, man. Find an excuse according to his own will. And that's the same spirit that Dedan had out there in the wilderness, bro. You know, he wanted the Most High to come to them. And when the Lord did, they all ran and, and basically said, Nah, Lord, we'll deal with you, with Moses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And another part was what? The Lord, because uh, they were envious of, of Moses and the position that he had, man. So what did the Lord do to them? He opened up the earth and they ate them all up, man. You know? Man, you had those niggas too. Uh, he ain't coming back. He been going for this long. Yeah, yeah. He, let's go back to Egypt where he was eating melons and cucumbers. All, you got those niggas back today too who trust in the shadow of Egypt, but yeah, your modern day Egypt is what America. Okay, go ahead. Hey, hey, can I get a word real quick in Edomon for a preeminence or preeminent? Yeah, no. Uh, real quick, this is etym etymology online. It says, uh, so for the noun preeminence, it says surpassing, surpassing eminence, superiority, distinction, precedence, a place of rank or distinction. It says uh, to rise above. Then, if you go to the uh, adjective preeminent, it says superior, distinguished beyond others, eminent above others. It says to transcend, excel, or to rise above, man. So, that's ultimately, um, if you go to the word eminent, it says standing or rising above other places, exceeding other things in quality or degree. And this is ultimately how these men feel about themselves, man. This is actually what they seek after. Because, you know, they, they got this to make themselves to be somebody in this world. Right. They didn't get it 
out of the purity of uh, glorifying your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Because it's not about the truth to y'all, man. It's not about waking up Yahweh 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 Shah is man. It's not about that, right. y'all. Y'all could y'all could care less, man. And your word, and your mouth might say something different, but your actions is what will work. And we're waiting for the Lord to exalt us, bro. Right. You know, say the scriptures say that he that humbles himself, the Lord should exalt you, man. I don't want to be exalted by my own things, bro. I want the Lord to come and do something exactly. great, uh, great with us. You know what I'm saying? And, and and put us in that position that He's gonna do it. That's right. You know. That's right. Uh, back into Romans one and um, thirty. It says backbiters, haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters. Inventors of evil things, Damn. disobedient to parents. Who's our spiritual parents, man? Really? Niggas is disobedient. Niggas need your ass whooped. You know? Come on, you stiff neck, man. You know, go ahead. Yeah. It says, um, verse 31. <laughs> With, it says, uh, without understanding, covenant breakers. Without natural affection, implacable and unmerciful. Listen, man, it don't matter how much breakdowns you get if you're not getting the breakdowns for the right reasons, man. Come on, man. Look at that one. You know, if you use it, if you're using it for the wrong reasons, man, it is. Come on, man. You get you, you get destroyed by doing it. It says, uh, last verse, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Yeah, they that commit such things are worthy of death, man. That's why you got to check yourself. Like, man, I'm going to be in couples right now. I'm going to be in this room. I'm going to be seeking purpose right now. I'm not worshiping myself right now. Like, come on. You know what I mean? You got to check with those men don't. Man. And you can't have that spirit in, in the truth, man. They say you in the truth. Say you this, say you that, say you, you know, you you this, uh, you know, you're this, uh, you're supposed to be this figure amongst Israel. Nah, bro, promotion come from the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, go ahead. Uh. It says, uh, it says that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Damn. Right. Yeah, God, man. You know, God, man. You know, scripture said that, roughly paraphrasing, all I hate the Lord, love death. You know? And again, if you're not doing the truth, you're teaching them for the right reasons. Right? And you're not showing that you fear the Lord. You know? You're not showing that you fear the Lord, man. You're taking advantage of men. That's what you're doing. You know? Ecclesiasticus chapter 7 and verse 1 it says come do no evil so shall no harm come unto thee it says depart from the unjust and iniquity and iniquity shall turn away from thee verse 4 seek not of the Lord preeminence neither of the king the seat of honor it says justify Justify not thyself before the Lord, and boast not of thy wisdom before the king. Now that's what these niggas do, man. Wow. That's what these niggas do. You know? Go ahead, I'll just ignore that. Con. It says, Seek not to be judged, being not able to take away a nickel. Come on, man. And that's what you see. And you niggas are powerless. Uh, if you know? they could, they'll take they'll take your Howard Shai spot, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because you can't say, oh, Damn. you know, if you ain't got no respect for the apostles, right, or for the men who taught you it, what makes you think we think that you gonna have respect for the Lord, man? Right. When you didn't have respect for the very men who taught you about the Lord, man. Well, what scripture say, man? If you hate your brother who you see, how can you love the Lord who you can't see, man? Wow. How does the love of the Lord fall in you? Yeah? Come on. Not even that, cause you know we can see it. We can see the bullshit. We can see. We can see right through you, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Come. It says, "Seek not to be judged, being not able to take away iniquity, 
lest at any time thou, thou fear the person of the mighty and lay a stumbling block in the way of thy uprightness. Verse 8, bind not one sin, bind not one sin upon another, for in one thou shalt not be unpunished. Yeah, bind not sin upon sin, man. You know? Like the Lord is going to look over what you've been doing. You can't move like that. That shows that you have lack of fear, man. You know? Go ahead. I'll uh, get uh, Hebrews 10 and uh, 32. Keep going. Yeah. Come on, verse 9. Say not, the Most High will look upon the multitude of my oblations, and when I offer to the Most High, he will accept it. Be not faint-hearted when thou makest thy prayer, and neglect not to give alms. Verse 14, use not many words in a multitude of elders. Why? Because you're supposed to be listening more than you talk to. Right. It's what the hear is supposed to speak, right? Okay? Because you can learn something, man. Not learn something and take it and say, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to flip it and I'm going to use it for this. And I'm going to have my men too. That's not what this is for. Okay? Uh, Hey, you know they listen to the apostles because they, they they even have like the certain words that the apostles be using, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, but they don't give credit to where credit's due, man. Yeah. And the Lord hate that shit, man. You know, what is that scripture that you have built upon other man's foundations? Uh, yeah. You know, these men were laboring before we were even in the world, bro, for some of us. You know, so how, how can you not uh, respect that, man? You know, just like any any uh, labor man, you know, any, any carpenter or whatever, you respect his game, bro, because he has some years on it. He's been through shit, man. You know, but well, that's that that goes into what the brothers say, and they're unreasonable men. They don't see that shit, bro. Yeah. You know? Experience, man. Experience. Here it is. You niggas lack experience. Why? Because it's an age. It's an age gap, man. You know, you don't have experience in certain things, man. So how, how dare you think that you are some type of general? You know, come on, man. Uh, that right? don't make is that Charlie Murphy was talking about, man. Uh, I mean that Rick James kid. He's like, we should have never gave these niggas money. <laughs> Like they, they they get that they get that knowledge and then they run off and, and, and they act like they 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 came up. They with came it. up with it. Yeah, they they came they came up with the breakdowns themselves, man. Like you know, it's it's just crazy as hell for me to see that, but that's that's the, a sign of a nigga, man. That's Straight a up. sign of a nigga, man. That at the end of the day, that can't be trusted. You know, as soon as soon as you do some form. And they come up on a level, then they completely flip the script on you. The, the niggas, man. That's that's what niggas do in the world. Con. Verse uh, verse 17. It says, Humble thy soul greatly. What's on, good boy? Humble thy soul greatly, for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. <laughs> Con. Verse 18, change not a friend for any good by no means. Neither a faithful brother. For the gold of all fear. Yeah, so look, are, are the men who taught you, are they not faithful? Are they not brothers? Man. <laughs> but you trade them for what? Filthy lucre, money, power, vain glory. Right? Come on, man. Like the brother said, that's the sign of a nigga, man. You know? And I hate niggas, by the way. <laughs> man, the most high hates them too. I was about you know? to say that. Yeah, that's the spirit. Most high hates black people, man. He's he hates black saying. culture, brown <laughs> culture. He's all that shit, bro. Yeah, man. If it's not about this, if it's not about this right here, and the customs of it, it's not of the Lord. Okay, because really that whole black culture and all that shit, nigger, niggerism and all that is, is death. But if you really get that shit from your heathen, from the heathen, right? From your slave masters, man. That's what you really get it from. From the slaying, from everything, from how you do certain shit. You niggas really get that shit, you know, like that plantation play. You really get that from uh, the plantation, right? Okay. So that's a, that's a, a black culture is a deaf culture. You know? Uh, you, got, you got the Hebrew? Yeah. Got Book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 32. But call to remembrance the former days in which, after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. Yeah, illuminated means we receive this truth, man. Okay, go ahead. Partially, while ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly, while ye became companions of them that were so used. For ye had compassion of me in my bonds, 
and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. Hey, man, you, you, if you're not preaching the Lord, you don't have no compassion for his bonds, man. You don't have no, uh, you know, you don't have no compassion for him. If you're not teaching him the truth and sincerity, right. if you don't even say his name, okay? If you know the truth and you're not teaching the truth for money, you don't have no compassion for the Lord. So this ain't talking about you, man. This ain't talking to you. It's talking to a specific uh, uh, type of man, man. A man of integrity, man. That's in this truth. That teaching for truth uh, and truth and sincerity, man, for the right reasons. Go ahead. It says, knowing in yourselves.